five, four, three, two. Hello, seven star citizens, and welcome to Answer the Call, your weekly podcast call in show that myself and Salty Mike do so that we can uh, air out all of your complaints and also all of your praises towards uh, this game that we uh, try to try to like to play, which I did have a good time uh, playing this week. How are you doing, Mike? Uh, not too bad. I had a decent time this week as well. And always, just a reminder, if you're not subscribed yet to the new Answer the Call channel on YouTube, make sure you guys are. So even if you're watching on Twitch and you're not going to be able to uh, check this out through its entirety, you can see the VOD on YouTube later today. Um, and then also, if you guys want to support the channel on YouTube, we have memberships now that are available. So if you mm -hmm. want to go way above and beyond... Uh, you know, being a caller or whatever, uh, we are we have memberships. We're gonna have a dedicated membership members show where a lot of the times I cut off people, and uh, now <laughs> I, I don't have to because it's about whatever you guys want to talk about. So yeah, that, you guys that'll get be, to be what, in charge exactly. So it's whatever topic yeah. you want to ask us and just have the conversation be about that specific thing, and I don't get to say I don't care. <laughs> Where, well, you do get to. <laughs> yeah, but I don't get to say, but, I don't care, let's move on to the actual subject of yeah, the show. I don't whatever. care, but continue. Go, go on with exactly. what you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, but yeah. yeah, this week. this week, it was a big week. Once again, Every pretty much every week since like the second week of January this year has had like some amount of decent stuff tied to it. This week was a little different in that I felt like there wasn't a lot of uh, new information this week, but we got a lot of clarification on things. Uh, we got some extra information about things like CitizenCon. Uh, one of the biggest new things, though, that we got this week uh, was from the Roadmap Roundup. Um, so, yep, yeah, we can get into earlier, that. Earlier, yeah, earlier on in the week, we had the Roadmap Roundup. We uh, got to see that modularity and the uh, gold standard retaliator are supposed to be coming in a 323.x. Uh, myself and Mike seem to believe that it's likely going to be the uh, Inv uh, Invictus patch that that's sort of going to be targeted for, which makes sense timing wise, although we'll get to if they'll make it to a 323.x before Invictus at this stage. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, who knows? It's, it's feeling weird. It's feeling tightish at the moment. Yeah, there's so much in 323 that's not in, yet in Evo, or the things that are there are still in such a like not ready for feedback state. It's it's so hard yep. to to guess when this patch is going to go wave one, um, or whatever. But yep. what what about this excites you? Because I gotta say, when I saw vehicle modularity, I wanted to be excited, but reading the description, mm -hmm. I'm just not uh, personally, and and I think it's due to the ship is is my issue with it. Yeah. The modularity isn't as relevant to me as uh, Gold Standard Retaliator is. Okay. Uh, because, and I was talking to you about this yesterday, I yeah. love the Retaliator so much. If I have the option of using the Hammerhead or the Retaliator, like fully crewed either one, I'm choosing the Retaliator nine out of 10 times. That surprised uh, me. Yeah. Cause, like, why? Because most people would default to the Hammerhead because guns. So what makes the Retaliator so cool? Well, you see, the Retaliator also has gun. Yeah, it's uh, got, how many turrets? <laughs> Two or three? It's got five five turrets. Holy shit. Okay. It's got five turrets. Uh, three of them are double-sized threes, and then uh, the other two are double-sized twos. So not the most, uh, like, damage output of any ship out there, obviously. It's still uh, good. But, yeah, it's still very decent. And then, in addition, you get the six size nine torpedoes, as well as uh, just a significantly better maneuverability over really anything as large as that. Like How... mo most ships that size can't really move at all. Gotcha. And like, again, like I said, the reason that this didn't hit as hard for me as it maybe would have if the, I don't know, the Caterpillar was getting a gold standard with this and they were going to deliver gotcha. new modules, right? Uh, a Retaliator is a ship I've, I don't think I've, I can't remember the last time I've been in one. It's been years. So what's the... What's the layout of the turrets? Are they, are you able, is it easy to see targets, things like that? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So okay, you've, I'll have you've to check got, it out. You've got an amazing range of, of view or however you want to field pronounce of view it. Or... Field of view. Yeah. You've got an amazing field of view from pretty much every single turret uh, because they're all, unlike the hammerhead, where you're kind of limited into like a 180 degree sideways. Yeah sort of thing, which ends up being an issue depending on where your pilot's going. You've almost always got a full 180 around this way 
um every single turret so yeah it's just top uh, and bottom yeah. is the issue like i can't it's look just up top or down. and bottom yeah okay yeah which with ex like you'll have experience when being in any multi-crew ship your pilot uh much better at doing top and bottom versus side to side like yeah. putting like the way you want to operate a hammerhead is you want to put your turrets on the side you're flying this way your target's over there um so it's it's just a lot easier for people to do yeah. um and then it's obviously much more fun as a pilot on the retaliator than it is on the hammerhead because on the hammerhead you've just got a bunch of i think size threes it comes standard with um so having the option of yeah yeeting some size nine torpedoes at hammerheads uh is is really fun cool I'll uh, have to try and then it. it's just the layout as well the layout of the tally is really cool because it feels like a uh you're in a submarine mm. and there's something really nice about that something really cool about that and it sort of brings everyone together so the reason i'm really keen about the gold the, the gold standard is the thing that i'm most excited about because uh the tally has so many yeah what are the issues, issues. what are the current issues <laughs> that will likely be resolved with this because again I've, it's a ship yeah. i just have almost no experience with so uh i would imagine that like there's a bunch of bugs i would imagine those will change or be different or whatever so mm -hmm. uh i won't i won't talk about those but some of the really annoying things <laughs> is uh the top and bottom docking collars it's still got like like yeah on, on top and bottom that the last time they talked about gold standard aegis retaliator that's going to change docking collars on the sides mm. um one of the reasons that was really annoying is because if you left the bottom one open and then you tried to get back in the ship through the docking collar at the top you would just fall directly through the ship and then you'd have to like do it again and stuff it was really annoying and unintuitive um so that's supposed to be changing EVA, very nice exactly yeah, yeah um the bit of the vehicle modularity that'll be cool though for it is it's supposed to be coming with the uh cargo room module which is essentially just take out the torpedoes and you turn them into cargo bays it's obviously the most simple for them i would imagine uh in in terms of modularity because all it is is just a room with a cargo grid like i i yeah. imagine that's not too complex i think that's uh, also one of the reasons yeah. why i was kind of like whatever about it is because yeah okay the torpedo bay is already there so making that mm -hmm. modular is cool but it's it, it it didn't add anything to the game and a cargo yeah, room yeah. is like bro we have how many cargo ships that, that that's not going to make me want to play the ship what you're telling yeah, me yeah. makes me want to play the ship now more than than uh you know the modularity coming into it so yeah i what what i'm excited for is the galaxy actually um, yeah, which I think you which, <laughs> you were saying this. I think that is some big hopium, honestly. No, well, it is, but the reason, like, they told us that ga the galaxy was going to be like after. Okay, originally, retaliator that was going to be modularity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they sold and the M50, galaxy. M fifty as well was supposed to be. Oh one yeah, because you take the engines the out or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. 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 And there's a bunch, and we don't know yeah. what is and what isn't anymore. But the, when yeah, yeah. they sold the Galaxy, they were like, this is going to be the thing that we're going to work on modularity with. And then it's not, first off. So yeah, <laughs> way to go, CIG, yet again. But the but I think that the modules that are there were more interesting. Um, oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Personally. Yeah, because it's supposed and, to be what, a refining cargo refining. And, um, and something else. Hang on? I think hangar a hangar. Model? Yeah. And yeah. The, the like it's in it's in the thumbnail for the video the hangar was like you know an exit and a proper exit hangar that the doors open it, mm. it felt right oh yeah there's medical as well medical. and then crafting medical. or uh just, i'm sorry yeah base there, was, there was a yeah there was the yeah so base building from last year in citizen Con, but then there was also there was like the mention of crafting in yeah. the uh, store page yep. of like that'll be a future thing yep um yeah i mean if they if they we know that they're working on RSI ships. That is a hundred percent thing. Mm -hmm. uh, if they do go from this to another ship with modularity, I guess it would make sense to be there. Oh, you messed it up anyway, chat. Oh man, people in Twitch no. chat. Just, if, if only we put a bet on it, people could have won some channel points. Um, I know we should do a channel point thing. <laughs> Fuck. Um, um, yeah, I just yeah. If to... they do, if they do move to another. Uh, modular ship i guess the galaxy is kind of the next but it, it is the one that i would expect the most next yeah given that they're going through yeah. the the whole rsi ships or whatever but yeah yeah it, it, i will also say what we don't know is the... what module modules they're gonna do either yeah because yeah. it opens up like the retaliator can now have anything inside of it 
they could do any module now. They just have to make it. Yeah. So it's yeah. Just I believe they also they talked about. Do. I believe they also talked about medical and scanning for the retaliator at some point. Okay. So uh, I wouldn't. I would be surprised if that's not necessarily too far behind as well. Yeah. Um, and then speaking of the retaliator, for those that don't know, this is uh, one of those features that got removed from the uh, like roadmap like two years ago. Uh, the retaliator was getting gold standard and they were like, mm -hmm. whatever, we're, do we're doing some other stuff. We're doing, we're not doing modularity. We're doing the whole C stuff. Cause apparently that was a roadblock that they were mentioning uh, for modularity. So oh, yeah, uh, that's the, back in. The whole C working was a huge thing to actually make this work. So yeah, that's I what they said. Yeah. 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 Um, so now that this is back on there uh, and I think it's one of those kinds of features that's probably likely to not get pushed back. Um, I, it, it's, It'll be exciting to see if they do, in fact, continue and give us modularity for the rest of the year. But um, it's a very, the, uh, in terms of slow starts for a feature, it's an incredibly slow start. Yeah, because it's basically just adding a cargo thing. So it it, it is, yeah. the feature is exciting and what it means, how soon it's coming, a 323.x patch, yeah. right, is is obviously super meaningful and, and cool. Um, but what... The other modular, sh like just, I mean, a caterpillar. the The possibilities are endless with That's that thing. That's the biggest one, right? Right. I, I feel like absolutely endless. In players' hands, the caterpillars, like modularity, is the one thing that I hear people talking about all the time. Yep. And and it's uh yeah so yeah it's just why like yeah. it just oh my god having one cargo bay a salvage bay mm -hmm. a crafting bay, like all the things it yeah, could yeah. be is what's exciting about vehicle modularity not. The 323 release for me personally yep. um but but the gold the gold standard super yeah, excited you, for it especially with want. um especially with like events like xeno threat coming back and yep. and all these opportunities where you're actually going to want to use the retaliator up sweet awesome um, yeah you make me want to check it out for sure Do screw it. the hammerhead it's retaliator time for for me and the boys <laughs> i think the next thing maybe citizen con hammer that out since it's not it's so far it's seven months away right yeah but, the only last thing that I'll touch on oh, the roadmap ahead, ahead. is they just they added some things into there uh, from uh, Evo Cardi that we already know exist. So yeah. the the creatures Asana. got added, and the missions for the creatures got added. Cool. Yep. We, we we were expecting that as of like two weeks ago. So yeah, uh, no surprise sense. there. Um, yeah. But CitizenCon, a bunch of stuff came out. Mm -hmm. We now know where it's going to be. I uh, it's called Manchester Central or something. I looked it up. Yeah. Ten thousand seats. Yeah, ten thousand seats. I don't know how we many. We did know on. that already. They had announced the location oh, okay. a couple. I want to say a month ago. Oh, cool! I so didn't this know is, that. yeah, this is more a little bit more clarification on how the days are going to work, which I have theories. We we'll get to All in right. a sec. Um, and when they're going to sell tickets. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about with that. I saw a lot of people complaining about them selling tickets so early. Last year, they sold them super late. They sold them in August for an event in October. In terms of like event organization, that is crazy, crazy late. Yeah. This is normal. Selling them this early is super normal. You have to buy plane um, tickets in so hotels. Yeah. Like not everybody exactly. lives in the UK. Whoever's complaining lives in the UK. <laughs> right? The only thing they need to do is buy a train <laughs> ticket or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, so, yeah. So yeah, there was that, but then yeah, the the opening closing times. So they talked a little bit in there about how Saturday is going to be a super long day, Sunday is going to be a really short day, and I don't think it's a super big stretch to assume that Saturday is going to be the day with the majority of the uh, presentations, where they're going to show features and they're going to show whatever. And Sunday, uh, I squadron. think they're going to end Sunday. Yeah, exactly. They're going to end Sunday early because it's going to be Squadron, and they're probably going to say and go out to those computers right now for the rest of the day and go play Squadron in a demo or something. Um, in a demo, okay. I, 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 in a demo, you're I I can maybe buy. I I thought you were gonna say yeah. like it's out. I don't. Oh, oh no, no, no. <laughs> no. I, I don't. I don't, I don't know. Because for me, I feel like since we still don't have a release date, I feel mm -hmm. like it'll be the release date and then a demo. Yeah, I think that's probably yeah, yeah. A, a pretty good thought process there. I uh, mm -hmm. so I can sort of confirm, very loosely confirm. Me and Level Cap will be back doing the the thing nice. but i'm um, but i'm thinking depending on you and depending on burks and depending on other because now it's not a situation where it's in the u.s where all of my mm -hmm. 
like, you know, English speaking friends would typically be there. Uh, we'll see if we can like change it up and bring more people on. But I messaged him yesterday because specifically he lives on the West Coast and this is yep. in the UK and they're talking about doing it really early in the morning. And I was like, how are you feeling? Or do you still want to do this? <laughs> and he said, oh, hell yeah, I want to do it. So, um, yeah. so we are loosely confirmed to kind of do a similar thing to last year, but maybe, maybe involve more people uh, might be cool too. Cause then me and level can get a break <laughs> or something occasionally <laughs> might be nice. Um, shifts, shifts. Yeah, exactly. So we'll see, but uh yeah <clears throat> excuse me the 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 one day thing is probably good but it's also mm-hmm. like okay they have less stuff to show than they did last year as like well which is like how can they not yeah. it was two years of yeah. stuff <laughs> right like the, so that's not like a, a good or bad thing i think yeah, it's yeah. gonna be i think this is really gonna be a more squadron focused even though last year mm-hmm. was entirely squadron focused outside of some pyro things in a lot of ways all of the content that they were yeah. work it was weird it was a this is the squadron stuff that we're, is going to relate to the pu that was kind of what citizen con was i do think a lot of this is going to be squadron the one thing I am looking for, but can't find, this seems to be more of the FAQ than the actual thing. Yeah, okay. Let's go here, and this will probably bring up the regular page. Yes. Okay. Strap in pilot and prepare, prepare yourself for an interstellar adventure. That's This is the only like context clue that, that gets me interested is surely they're not going to do a jump to pyro again (laughs) right so what this kind of tells me is is there another system involved i i uh, or is it going to be pyro again i well that's the thing i would not be surprised if it is a pyro again but it's a pyro release like it's a you know like it's a I, I would very much imagine that when we do get 4.0, it's going like they're going to try to tie it to some big thing. Yeah. Citizen Con is the biggest thing they have. So uh I don't know, Mike. We might be going back to my <laughs> Yeah. It's definitely possible. Right? Yeah. But I'm gonna hold on to like a little maybe they're gonna do something crazy. Cause here here's what we know about Pyro and what they're capable of. They're capable of pretending that uh, things exist that don't. So they can show us four different systems that don't exist and be like, this is our intention in the next year or so, like they did last year. So they can do a jump to an... We now know that server meshing exists. You can jump Mm -hmm. from one server to another. They can make a fake-ass test level of Levski... nicks or yeah nicks uh terra magnus all the systems that connect to stanton they could just be like we're going there check it out we went from here to there to there to there and yeah, yep. it, it's meaningless from a development standpoint but they could just say that they did it or whatever right so it's mm-hmm. possible that's what we get is a this is yeah. a, a plan in the next year or so um these systems and, and locking them down and getting them done um you want to talk about the tickets there's two types again i'll just say on that it's it'd be interesting like so last year during citizen con we didn't get a like like we got a bunch of small snippets of in engine in game like gameplay through through the different features but we didn't get like a keynote gameplay thing last year um no the base I wouldn't be surprised was kind if of they... like replacing that the... last year uh, well, actually, I was going to say the Star Engine video kind of replaced that a little bit. True. true. That, that sort of gave gave those vibes. But we haven't had that uh, for a couple of years, and I wouldn't be surprised if they do kind of exactly what you're saying, but they're like, all right, cool. We're going to show you what the game is like when you are traveling in between each different system. We're going to do a mission. This is what we envision the game to be like in a year, two years, three years, whatever. Um, a 1.0 demo. Plus, Plus, here's base build. Like, they'll show a base building concepts like thing in there. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we got that. Yeah, maybe because uh, they're they're already talking to us about 1.0. Maybe it's their 1.0 yeah. plans or whatever, right? Chris is going to yeah. get on stage again, like 2018, and tell us what release is like. Yeah. <laughs> in 12 years. Um, but yeah, the the tick the tickets is is sort of 
interesting. Um, mm -hmm. A regular access, you get a swag bag plus digital and digital things. Uh, did you get swag bags mm -hmm. last year? Yes, cool. everyone, everyone, regardless of okay. I don't, I don't know what anybody got. I forgot. Oh, you have some stuff. Uh, I got this. <laughs> I've still got it on my table. I have not cleaned my desk since CitizenCon. <laughs> Neither have I. Oh, that's but, right. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. yeah. Yeah. So I got that. Uh, there was the digital goodies pack, uh, which was like the Dead Rigger Pyro shotgun, as well as an armor set. Um, and that shotgun the... is OP. I by love the that way. shotgun. It's so sick. <laughs> I don't have it because I didn't buy it. I, I it's meant still, to and I forgot. As far as I'm aware, as far as I'm aware, it's the weapon itself is still not lootable in in game yet. The ammo is the actual the ammo is the actual yeah. shotgun as far as i'm aware is not but if someone has found that uh correct me please cool. um but yeah so you got that stuff um the premium ticket i do want to talk about a little bit i Let's... i managed to convince someone to give me a vip ticket last year uh <laughs> yes um this one it was big interesting time. This one sounds a lot better. So last year, um, it was, you went to the LA offices. They did have literally like an open bar with a bunch of bartenders serving drinks and stuff. Um, and they were doing office tours. Most people didn't get to do it because someone ruined it, apparently, is what I heard. Someone someone ruined it for everyone. Um, but it was cool to just be in the offices and meet everyone. But it was also, it was way more people than I thought it was going to be. Um, I imagine this year it's going to be a similar situation just at the new office. Uh, they talk about a venue um, and they still talk about like office. Um, uh, so I don't know if it's here, but somewhere in the, in the stuff they've talked about office tours. Uh, I will. Yeah. There, it's, it's there, is, the there is a lot more info out there. I will yeah. do my best to find it. It's actually going to be next to impossible. Um, there's just so much stuff but yeah i will look i will try and find it but no there's a lot more info that they they shared uh in they the, talk about like special guests are gonna be there guests, which so like squadron come on it's so fucking yeah i was obvious. gonna say like it'd be it would be kind of crazy if they get like you know one of the big voice actors there i think to, mark hamill will be there around. i think Very mark hamill will be yeah. there yeah i think uh, we talked about when we when we did our citizen con debrief last year we talked about probably the only reason he wasn't there last year was because of the um sag after a strike so yep uh yeah i am scrolling to like look for dev things uh additional uh additional information on the event including ticket prices will be out tomorrow i expect oh, okay. the ticket prices to be cheaper than last year la is stupid LA is insane. Yeah, LA Convention Center is nuts. <laughs> I expect the ticket prices to be cheaper. Uh, if they're not, that's crazy because last year was insane. Um, like it, it turned me off entirely to wanting to do that. Okay, I'm still looking. I'm still looking. I'm still looking. There was, there was, basically, they were implying that you weren't just going to be at the studio. You were going to, there were shuttles taking you around. You were going to multiple yeah, different yeah. places. Like the, the VIP thing seems like, uh, yeah, the citizen con a gala is treatment. a separate offsite event taking place the day before citizen con tickets to this event mm -hmm. will be extremely limited. Uh, oh no, that they just reposted on that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, but yeah, there was some you... additional information there that it was going to be a bit, a bit crazy. Yeah. If if you are a person that is does want to go to um the VIP stuff, uh it was cool last year and I do think it is worth going if you're, you know, a big big super fan of SE. Um do keep in mind last year the VIP to uh, tickets every single wave sold out in like 30 seconds, if that yeah. in some of the waves. Um we don't know if there's a larger or less allocation this year. It's going to entirely depend on what their venue is going to look like. I would imagine it's going to be a little bit larger, but that's pure speculation. So um, it'll be hard to get the ticket. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, they're going to reveal to to the those guests, whatever they're revealing at CitizenCon early. Uh, obviously, the special guests, the mm -hmm. separate venue, not the studio is where it happens. But then okay. you get shuttled to the studio to explore. Yeah the studio as well. I don't know. It's not something I would ever 
like care that much to do and you like you said it wasn't that great last year basically i i would have i would have preferred like i would have preferred to just hang out with uh creators that i had met essentially yeah. rather than rather than go there but um yeah creators that, that's fans. an obviously very different experience than other people will have yeah um so yeah yeah it's cool i mean i've been I've, no, I've most people I doubt have ever been to the Manchester studio since it's so new. Mm-hmm. I've been to the LA studio. I've been to the Austin studio. So mm-hmm. like, I wouldn't have been like, I, I wouldn't have needed to, uh, to do it last year if I went or anything, but yeah, yeah I would take a bar citizen over and chatting to fans and, and like fans of star citizen, not fans of me that like, just, <laughs> just talking about star citizen with people. I would enjoy that more than, yeah. than most stuff. Uh, but yeah. Which you I can didn't... you can do that at the VIP event, and I think it will be a di- very different atmosphere because they're doing it day before mm-hmm. instead of uh, like last year where it was the end of Sunday, so everyone yeah. was just exhausted. Um, so yeah, but yeah, I, I think it will be a good experience if you are looking to get those tickets, do it, um, and uh, let me live vicariously through you and send pictures. Yeah, true. Probably the biggest uh, pre like the last big pre release. Citizen Con potentially. Well, feels like it, yeah. Like, but b- pre Squadron, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I think we all probably assume Squadron Holiday next year. You know, yeah, something yeah, like probably, that. Yeah. So uh, there'll probably be another Citizen Con right before release or whatever. But are you go- are you planning on going to this Citizen Con if you can? Uh, it is going to cost uh, two grand just in flats. Yeah. So it's very yeah. unlikely that I'm yeah. going at the stage. That's insane. All right. Well, yeah. well. We'll stay in touch about the the streams or whatever if you want to do that. But um, I'm not because same same thing. I don't like yep. flying. It's so much money and it just doesn't make sense uh, from that standpoint for me. And um, I just I'm looking forward to a bar, an Orlando bar citizen soon. Basically, <laughs> hopefully those are soon. <laughs> we'll go to still, Disney. I still think Montreal plays. Yeah, do a really Montreal hoping. like big thing. It'll be so sick. I was really hoping Montreal, and then I'll just take the train up, uh, yeah, and 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 go up there. But yeah, that was Citizen Con. That's what we know so far. Monday we'll hear the price, and yeah, fingers mm-hmm. crossed it's not as expensive as last year. Um, outside of Overdrive? that, Overdrive. Let's do it. Overdrive. Yep, so Overdrive is continuing uh, as we expected. However, there was a little bit of a change this week. Um, a couple of days ago excuse me they have combined uh like phase five and phase four uh at least from when we experienced it on the ptu Mm -hmm. um so you've first got uh a mission that a lot of you guys will essentially be very familiar with but with a twist which is you go to the comma rays and you return them on uh but now there's a bunch of mines in them and you need to uh uh also fend off a bunch of vanguards that come and attack you at the same time Um, and vanguards aren't the ship it's the the name of the group. yeah it's just like the guards yeah yeah yep. so it, it's like heavy fighters i think valkyrie is like the largest thing that uh that will come and fight you mm-hmm. during this and this is an amazing mission for like three to four people any less than that you may actually just fail just because of time because there's just a lot of things to watch out for any more than that and it starts to become really boring uh, uh but like that's gonna be the kind of nature of a lot of things it, it makes sense that you, you can't just throw people at uh, quests and imagine them to continue to still be very fun. Yeah. Uh, but I did really like this phase. I think it was a lot of fun. So um, that was really good. But they've then now combined that with the SPK phase, which is the most fun phase. In my it was opinion. so surprising. So sick. Yeah. Like me and my group were doing this and we we're like, all right, this is okay. Um, but it, it felt, eh, I guess. But then. Okay randomly like the spk mission pops up and we were like yeah. what the heck so it's titled emergency at korea and i think a lot like i think a few creators did the um did the first mission and was like all right no i'm not doing this so then and then stop because <laughs> somebody yeah, messaged yeah. me and was like how it how was overdrive and they were like trying to do it yeah, and yeah. i was like it was awesome and they were like what and like yeah the korea mission was awesome they're like what are you talking about so yeah. i think they stopped after three and we're like all right i'm done that was the phase but no the the next bit like i was about to log off and one of my group um like one of my org mates was like yo i have a, a korea mission now they're like what yeah so then he shared it and um 
this is where like one of you know i've been complaining about the lore not really making a lot of sense or whatever this is one of those first moments where it was like okay so we did the kamare thing and we we realized that the Kamarays were just a distraction. They're actually attacking yeah. Korea right now. So that was the whole thing. It's like, okay, so we did the Kamarays to find out that it was a distraction. Now we go to Korea and kill these guys. Mm -hmm. Like it felt finally like there was, even though I read the lore, it wasn't voice acted or whatever, that there was a bit yeah. more there. It had a bit more depth to it, which was really great. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was the, the mission description. And then, sorry for the... <laughs> the uh, spinner. You, everybody knows the spinny bug, yeah, but yeah. yeah. And then this for me, like this video is actually our entire um, process there. Mm -hmm. And NPCs got stuck in the walls for me a little bit. How about you? Okay, same. Uh, um, they were no. no I was say, we yeah, yeah, we were in a like ten server FPS. Okay, uh, which usually is like okay enough that NPCs are like uh, half decent most of the time. Yep. Um, and they certainly were. Um, the, the the ones in the walls of... were insane. Well, yeah, they've got wall hacks. Yeah, the ones they, not in the wall you. <laughs> were your typical NPCs, but the ones in the wall just decided they were they were pro gamers. It was crazy. Oh, we we were getting annihilated the second that they would spawn out of the elevators. They would just charge us immediately. It was it was yeah. nuts. Uh, the I... the advantage of uh, of Oz servers as always. Um, yeah. So the idea, yeah. but I guess I should should say the idea would be. Um, something was supposed to spawn right here, and it didn't. Uh, mm -hmm. one of the dev who made the mission. Yeah, there's like a the, screen that's supposed to be there. Yeah. Yeah, he was in the chat, and he was like, "No, they were so upset." <laughs> and then, uh, it it did end up spawning eventually. Uh, so it was like uh the server, yeah, yeah. like caught up or something, uh, because mm -hmm. it's still not there yet. You could see it, but at some point while we're goofing around it it does spawn and that's what you interact with first and then mm -hmm. that's how you hack back you're basically removing the hack that xenothrow was doing here and i guess yeah. the assumption is they're trying to remove crime uh, stats you're, so they can... you're downloading data specifically as well yeah. so you're, you're trying to you're downloading the data of the hack so yeah. like hey what were they trying to do here okay gotcha because this yep. this is um something that this is what we thought we were supposed to be yeah, doing. Yeah, that's just with. regular, some regular SPK. Yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> so we yeah. were like canceling. We were like, all right, we we did it. Um, no, we didn't. So it was that other thing. And then at the end, you reset the console or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, yep. And it was really good because let me tell you something. If we were on a good server and the NPCs were are, are how we would hope they would be one day and, and somewhat you experienced, right? This will mm -hmm. be a challenge, even for a group of my size yep. that I think was like six, seven people. It would be, we, a, it, it would be a challenge. It was even like Mike, people went down we at this. We had seventeen people. Holy! We shit. almost wiped twice. Yeah, that's crazy. It was, it was insane, and that was once again like we only had maybe one area where there was uh like broken wall spawning guys. The rest of it, it was just they just throw reinforcements at you when mm -hmm. the server works uh, for yep. this mission. So it's like a you need people to hold angles. Really, is is that's, how you essentially want to run it. That's exactly what I was going to say. Because towards the end, that's what we were doing, even though we didn't really have yeah. to. But you could see, uh, that that like. Okay, so there's the example of the panel that you would interact with. Uh, we're already yeah. towards the end here. But th that's what we were kind of doing is because uh, they were spawning up top, but you could see there's a broken's right there. He's holding an angle. He's mm -hmm. holding a door angle. So we kind of started doing that and catching them as they were coming out of the elevators because they were yeah. catching a, a few people off guard, but not really. Yeah. So, yeah, it was just – it was constant waves. They were coming nonstop. It mm -hmm. never stops. So, like, even yes. when you do the normal SPK mission, it, it – they come in waves. I believe of like, it's on a timer on, on yeah. normal SPK. Yeah. yeah. But normal SPK, like, they'll spawn armored guys, and then all of a sudden they spawn the guys just in the suits. Yeah, so, yeah. It, like, it almost gets easier over time. This just was a constant wave of uh, yeah. craziness. But it was a really good time. I really enjoyed the second part. As you can see, look, one of our guys yeah. got hit by the uh, <laughs> by the wall hacker. So, uh, yeah, one of a, the... It was a great time. I loved it. One of the reasons that I really enjoy it and it is has made me kind of happy that they actually started jump town this week even though most people aren't running jump town mm -hmm. is because jump town was running it meant that there was inherently more people trying to get their uh crime stat hacked away which means when you came to do this at this pvp location the threat of pvp was heightened and it was actually like 
a, a thing that could be an issue. And the servers that we were going to, um, yeah, there, there were people running SPK or locking down SPK, and it presented a, a bunch of issues. I love that. Like, that it is that's a dynamic event is when you go, all right, cool. We're just going to send you off on a mission, but we have done it in such a way that you will encounter players, and that's going to create its own uh, sort of aspect of gameplay. So I think this is a fantastic phase. Like I said, the first part of phase four, uh, you just need to not do with too many people or it's going to be completely boring. But so many missions in the game are completely boring if you do with too many people. Um, the weird thing, though, is that when we did all of this in PTU, there was six phases and this was phase five. Mm -hmm. So they've still said there's more phases coming. They said that this is supposed to be, uh, once again, like a precursor to actual Xeno threat, a precursor to the patch as well has been the implication. Does that mean we're going to get some surprise phases? Because I kind of feel like it does. Maybe. Um, we. I, I don't know. And I couldn't even guess what they could be, but we did get mm. we did get another surprise this week around Overdrive. Oh, true. Oh, man, yeah. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> that. The middle armor here, we will... They listened. Yeah. Maybe. Kind of, sort of. They listened. Um, yeah. When the... We're all excited about Overdrive from a, hey, man, there's something to look forward to. There's something new. Even though it's not a new thing. Mm -hmm. Like, we basically did the Korea mission with people in this armor, right? In a yeah, lot yeah. of ways. Not that big of a deal. But we did... There was something to look forward to. There was a reason to group up with people. Awesome. Mm -hmm. But then they tied this horrible thing of having to buy in on the web store with it, right? Very bad. Nobody liked yeah. it. Like, anybody who was defending this, you're insane. There's, this was a highly, um, like, people didn't like it, right? There, most people did not like this thing, that it had a buy-in associated with it. Yeah. And they decided to offer anybody who completes this the middle armor that's there. Not the right armor, not the left armor, mm -hmm. the middle armor. Some people like the, the left armor. I know Kronzi does. Uh, I, I only like the left armor because it's, it's a bigger logo. The logo yeah, yeah. on the middle armor is so tiny. I don't know why. <laughs> it's yeah, it's weird. silly. And then the logo on the helmet, a lot of people like the helmet on the right. I think so. I saw some people yep. complaining on, Re on Reddit, on uh, Spectrum, about the helmet on the right. And then... Uh, it might have been Niku uh, that that re responded and said, "Hey, like we want some items in the game to be like earnable, and you you play the game, you get them, and you hold on to these things. Th you know, you'll be able to get this helmet again. It is rare. Like I never saw this helmet in any of the missions that I did. To be honest, any of the guards, I don't think I ever saw them wearing this I've helmet. Seen, yeah, I've never seen the helmet. I have seen the chest and whatnot, but yeah, yeah. So it's apparently, it's like a rare thing, which is cool. Um, mm -hmm. But the middle armor will be in your." web store hanger right so that the yep. same thing that they've been doing with everything one day i hope that's not the way things are but hey wipes happen mm. this is this is how we prevent those from uh yep. from happening right so they listened so in in some some aspects i will say thank you for listening um i'll let you take the rest because i i definitely have a i i'm i'm not going to yeah i'm, I'm not perfect Surprise, surprise. I'm I'm not yeah, going to yeah. be super positive about this one. Yeah. So when we talked about the awards a couple of weeks ago, uh, I was very vocal that I didn't care too much that the award was what it was, but I still wanted more. Yeah. Um, and they did that. Cool. Sweet. Awesome. Awesome. Um, fantastic. Uh, it is definitely like there's a lot of times where CIG do things like this where it's a bit of an iffy of like is this originally intended is this a response this is a hundred percent a response yeah especially because they in addition to this they also made the uh the, they've changed the f7a mark II rental to be uh seven days uh, uh rather than okay. three so it's definitely like yeah it is a hundred percent all right we messed up we'll we'll add this stuff in there um it's a good sign that they want to do this because we've talked a lot even really since like august last year we've talked a lot about uh more in-game rewards being meaningful yeah. in some way or the other um so just keep doing this and i think it is a good sign that the com like the, a large majority of the community i think or at least the the vocal majority of the community uh have been 
very positive about this this armor coming in uh, yeah. as a reward. Absolutely. So as long as as long as CIG, well, I imagine they see it. So as long as they take that to heart and continue to do this, cool. Exactly. Like so, you and I are are on exactly the same page. The only thing they can't do is this. They can't come out with an event that is a buy-in only, and then four weeks later, that's when the response happens. So not only did you hear the response from the community that was entirely negative, but you waited to you waited for people to buy the ship, then make the response. So for me, the only thing is I will I will praise you. I will round of applause praise you every single time you do an event that has no ship sale associated with it and a buy-in. Well, it doesn't have to have no ship sale associated with it, but not in the egregious way that this one not is. Not in this way. Yeah, yeah. not in this way. Um, but that has a reward for in-game actions and an in-game reward yeah. on day yeah. one. If you yeah. do it on day one, you're going to hear endless praise from me. They're going to call me sweet, Sweetie Mike or whatever they do anytime <laughs> I say anything good. Um, Softy Mike. Yeah, that one. Like all, all that stuff. I will praise you till the end of time if that's what you do but if what what they can't do is this they can't be continuously making the obvious worst decision when they know there is no way that they don't know that that would have not gone well with us yeah right yeah and, th and then um, respond to it after like sorry yeah, yeah. I, I don't think there's much more to touch on with the overdrive event. I, that kind of like goes no. over everything that, that happened this week. But I do sure. want to slightly connect it to one thing, sure. which is they had a great April Fool's joke this month, uh, this week, with the uh, the Misk Raptor. Uh, in my opinion, super hilarious. It was good. The one thing that that, that there's there's a thing about it that gives me so much hope and and love for CIG, which is there's always the you know like CIG only care about money. If they really only cared about money, you know how much money they would have made if they actually had the Raptor pledgeable? Are you kidding me? I would have bought five, and that's not even a joke. This thing is so damn silly and fantastic and is like the perfect meme thing. It's not even CG, that If you want silly. my money, just do it. It's not even that silly when you really think yeah. about it. So yeah, this is the Misk Raptor. It has two size seven cleaning uh, <laughs> attachments or something they describe. Cleaning but, off, yeah, uh, I love this. It's so good. Cleaning off your your base one day, like okay, yep. wear and tear. Well, rip wear and tear now on my landing pad. You know, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So like you could totally do salvage gameplay with this thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it, it's it's a goofy, funny thing, but. Yeah, you could definitely is, do stuff like this, and people would play yep. this gameplay. That's what's crazy 100%. about it. 100%. I would play it all day. I've seen the inside of those pyro stations. They need they need a couple of Misk Raptors to, to go in there and move some stuff. Um, exactly. The other good thing about it, if Zylo confirmed that you it is hit, a actual... Go ahead. Just say, I, Sorry, I just wanted to say, if, if you haven't yet, please make sure you hit the buy yeah. button, <laughs> and then you get, you get the, uh, the forum yeah. badge if you do. Um, but yeah, Xylo confirmed that it is an actual in-game asset. Yep. Uh, my my big hope is that it'll be an actual drivable asset, uh, even if it does nothing. Just just let me drive this thing around like random landing zones and stuff. It, it just I love it. I, I like it when this happens. It's cool. So there is a chat message on Twitch that we have to say. The reason okay. we did not get it is because it's not beams. True. True. It makes sense. If it was yeah. beams we would have it. It's too yep. physical. It makes too much sense. <laughs> I'm with you, man. I'm with you. It's it's far too current day. Exactly. Um, the own, uh, oh my God, there actually was so much stuff this week. I keep forgetting. It was a, like, it was a lot of stuff, but it was a lot of like, uh, more minor stuff than the last couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, I see. Uh, we, we got to see, um, Obviously, it's been in Evo Cardi, so if you've been in Evo Cardi, you've been able to see it. But we got to see uh, publicly what the uh, the star map and the mobile glass looks like. Um, the general aesthetics, in my opinion, and I haven't been able to check it in Evo Cardi, so I've only got ISC to, to go off of. Uh, in my opinion, the general aesthetics are significantly better and much more in line with uh, the aesthetics of everything CRG have been doing recently. 
But then, of course, we have uh, the inability to read any words uh, is, is continuing yeah. to be a thing. So um, there apparently, I did see that there was a, a dev response to this example specifically, uh, that they are doing things to make things more readable on like bright backgrounds and stuff like that. But I think like they just need to change the like colors of words and just give them like shadow and stuff. I'm, I'm, it's, I don't get it. It's really Why weird. Why is this so difficult? Because yeah. like, this is a deliberate choice, right? Like it has yeah. to be. Once again, obviously they're like, hey, we can't read it. We fully can't read it. Sure, that's a fix that they're going to do. But like this issue will come up again. Yeah. It, it's just a, yeah. I, uh, how many years have we been like, yo, this is this sucks. Yeah. Like they like won't... make things readable, please. <laughs> yeah. Like it, we're not asking for you to make the best game in the world in this case. I just want to be able to read words. Yeah. It's crazy. And it's and and for reference, I do want to point out, at least in my perspective, this is a issue on an otherwise great feature from from yes. uh, everything that I've seen. Uh, the the UI looks very intuitive. The uh, star map uh, looks fantastic in general, and I love the way uh, the the much better way that it does all its zooming in and its routing and everything. It's, awesome. uh, it's just it's just can we do something about the font? Like it's yeah yeah the 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 only guess that I have is like okay we never had this search feature before and now we do mm -hmm. so maybe they yep. prioritize certain things like this very exciting like i think better um functionality like it is way better again yep. if you know the name of the location every mission get pretty much gives you the name of the location where things are at yep. if you know the name of the location it is way better to type it in and just basically press r it is so intuitive mm -hmm. so simple rather than all right i gotta double click the planet i gotta look around for it okay click then route like it is yep. way easier to use the search function than um the current system of the star map and i never noticed this before but like the routing line goes mm -hmm. to both things and stuff now uh, was yep. that ever a thing before i can't remember but uh i just like the way yeah, things remember. are but, yeah no it looks it right looks i will good. also say i do i do like that the routing is actually contrasted so they definitely know what contrast is yeah, uh like, so that's good there's some orange <laughs> we can see it yeah uh so that looks great. Um, the uh, even just like small things like the information that comes up uh, about every location, like yeah. you have there on the left side. Uh, how many times have people? I, I want to say it's her all three, but it's one of the major uh, Lagrange points that doesn't have a station. How many times have you tried to refuel there and then get completely stuck? Yep. So just some some nice little things there. Great uh, is great. Um, and then yeah, the search function, awesome. Like a super. Uh, a, a thing that we've needed for a very long time, I think. Um, I do wonder, uh, and because we don't have uh, Pyro in Ivacati at the moment, but I do wonder if uh, they'll separate search function between systems or if there'll be maybe filters for that sort of thing where you can like filter per system. I feel like that's going to be a really important long-term uh, functionality of it. I will say yeah. the during the... Uh, the server tests, meshing tests? during the server meshing tests you do not have access to both um, obviously okay. we had the old star map because we were doing the server meshing test on 322 and there were mm -hmm. lots of issues where when I jumped from one system to another um, I might have been in pyro but I still had a crusader star map and there's yeah, yep. lots of weird shit going on there so I would not expect that functionality to exist um, mm -hmm. in the sense uh, initially or not for a long time for you to be able to just you know plan a route from Stanton to Pyro to Terra kind of thing, you know? Mm -hmm. um, at least not for a while. Yeah. Because it looked like that um, was a big piece of the puzzle that was not functioning correctly. Um, that was one yeah. of the biggest call-outs was the star map, uh, yeah. issue-wise. This is something I wanted to point out because mm -hmm. this is something that is in Evo, the list of things on the screen, but what is not currently functioning in Evo from what I can tell is the fact that they clicked on one of them and it brought you to that thing. There we go. He goes, hot dogs, bang, it ah, brings yeah. you to hot dogs. Right. That's not, and then you can route it. So that was yeah. not something that I've seen work yet. Um, but okay. it's obviously something that is functional at some point on their end. Uh, another thing that I will say there, I think it was Friday 
um there was a star map update uh like visual update that is not something you're seeing on the screen here as far as my understanding uh there's yeah. the planets look pretty good but the readability issue still persists so like yeah. our corp looks like detailed it's pretty okay. cool Sorry. actually um so yeah there's some cool stuff there but i don't know overall I'm I'm getting very tired of the ISCs on quality of life and UI updates. <laughs> and I am and I am increased like just to touch a little bit on the but where is 323 thing. Friday was a plan to try to get out the cargo update. I think we were going to have a lot of things to talk about today on this answer the call uh, uh, where we were going to push aside quite a few things uh mm. for for way more important things like cargo updates that were canceled yeah. from SCL, right? And I think this is just my pure speculation. We have no information on this whatsoever, but my pure speculation is that they were trying to push this hangar update out and the people who were needing to do that, unfortunately, were the people that were going to be on SCL. So I'm way yeah. happy if that was the plan of like, hey, we're not doing SCL because they need to make the damn game. Sure, no problem, yeah. right? Uh, unfortunately, that patch didn't make it. So hopefully, early this week, and uh, we'll see. But did they? Did they? When they uh, uh, delayed the the SEL, did they clarify when they're looking at doing it again? Like, would we? Do you know through your history of watching SEL? Would we imagine that it would probably be next week? Everything, everything about the way they do things has changed when it comes to their okay. video content. So my hope would be this is a massive priority. This would be a great mm -hmm. show. Let's get them on when the the content is in 323 and ready for feedback. So like for me, yeah. the but, but where is 323 is, 323 for me is entirely freight elevators, distribution centers, cargo, uh, persistent hangers, and cargo missions. Mm -hmm. Those yeah. four things are the only things that I care about. Mm -hmm. So that's where I'm like, I'm getting, I'm starting to get nervous because we've been in Evo for two weeks now and I'm starting to get nervous on the timeline of things. And we talked about it at the very beginning of like, damn, like, mm. you know, distro centers are there, guys. There's no fucking missions at them. Um, <laughs> we, I went and looked for all the economy changes in the game. Only two things yeah, yep. have changed. Only two things. Construction materials went from 6K per to 3K per. And RMC went that's from good. 13k per to 10k per. It's good, but it's not. Yeah, that's good. But it's yeah, not a huge change. Stuff, yeah. Um, yeah, it's yeah. not a huge change either. So like 3k per SEU, when I can make hundreds of these SEU, is still. It's iffy. still a lot, but it's. it's I, I think iffy. it's a. It's a reasonable enough for now. Ooh, um, okay. Somebody in chat yeah. gave me some info that I was not aware of unverified missions at distro so uh unlawful missions are, are at distro centers i will be checking that's right that yeah because they're, they're re they're renamed now they're no longer personal yep yeah oh they renamed yeah. all the apps that's i guess something that we can yeah uh bring up as well there's no like assets is is knickknacks rep is yep. uh whatever uh, we talked about this last week but you know you could see it yep. on wallet vehicles they they they're keeping it simple for for simple people mm -hmm. and apparently the only the only apps that are still not uh, like up to date uh, is the um, vehicle manager and the comms. Yep. Every everything else should be uh, uh, at the very least in like a current ish state. I'm sure yep. there's can always be like facelifts, but yeah. Yeah, and that that's mostly what this was was a facelift. Uh, the markers they yeah. they stated will not be functional how they stated in CitizenCon. You will be able to place the marker. You will be able to name it, and that's about it. Yeah. So and not there. and and until we get maps of planets and moons, I imagine we're not going to be able to do it on planets and moons yet. Just exactly. So yeah. So you can only do it in a situation like what's on the screen now. You can only place yeah. a marker in a place that has a map. Very few places have maps at the mm -hmm. current time, and they were very clear about that being a yeah. thing. So having any expectations yeah. outside of that would be silly. So don't do that. Don't be mad about something like that. They were very clear about how this is going to take time. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it is. So I don't know that I was just kind of whatever. And I'm, I, I was so looking forward to SEL this week. So yeah, it was going to be a big it. one. It yeah. was going to be a really big one. Like I asked so a question just, about cargo big. decks. Like what, like what's going yep. on? Like, you know, and then maybe that opens up the door of like, yeah, we did all these missions that you'll be taking at the car cargo deck or mm -hmm. something like that, you know? And 
uh, it was disappointing. So I really hope, like you said, that it's rescheduled right away, right? So we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Outside um, that, I think we'll, that's we'll everything for me. Yeah, there was uh, something else, but I forgot it uh, because we there was so many things. We've talked for almost an hour about the yeah. things that happened this week, which I'm actually kind of surprised by. Uh, <laughs> it did. It didn't feel like a big week, but I guess it was yeah. after uh, after sort of thinking about it. Um, so I guess yeah, let's let's move into the caller portion of the uh, of the podcast. And if you want to call in, uh, feel free. Come to discordgg mac and uh, head on in. Get your questions in. Yep. Uh, or or talk about any of the things that we talked about today. Now's a good day to come in because there's only two callers in yeah. the queue right now. So that that is this has been the, the least. Now there's three. Uh, this has been the, <laughs> the least amount of callers we've had uh, in recent weeks. So so get in here. But I just brought in Light Smith. So Light, Last what do you want to what do you want to chat about? Yo, what up? Howdy. How's it going? It's going fantastic. Uh, I wanted to start off. I I didn't call in last week. Mm. Watched the episode though. Good episode. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. I wanted to reference something that you guys talked about, and I just want to say some of us are really excited for new lights coming to the game. Okay? I did say... I'm kind of invested at this point, you guys. So many (laughs) commented on the podcast. I don't know if you saw this, Mike. That's About people being like, I love lights. Lights are going to be so sick. (laughs) I'm so excited. I'm happy for you. I want more lights. I, I... You've named I'm the yourself one of those guys that goes lights. around and yep, I pick up all the little flares I find everywhere. I'm the guy that'll be throwing them around the bunkers, lighting up all the corners. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Fair enough. Um, so, whatever floats your boat, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if we can get some use out of them someday, that'd be great. But I yeah. think yeah, put course. a light in any game, and it's going to make a lot of people happy. So, okay. fair enough. Um, but Mike, I actually had a couple of questions for you because you're an Evo, and I'm not an Evo. Okay. And I wanted some clarity. Uh, I know a lot of people have talked about this. You go to the search bar, you type in a location, you hit a button, and you go right there. My my question is, if I'm on the other side of a moon and I want to go to Hurston, do I still have to manually jump from OM to OM and then to Hurston? Or does it just take me right to Hurston? No, you still do the jump. You still you hit the OMs. So if, but you oh. don't, but you don't gotcha. get. You know, sometimes you get blocked uh, and you can't yes. choose anything. So far, I haven't experienced that, but that doesn't mean much because you got to remember lots of crashes, difficulties playing, things like that. So you you won't get those uh, true experiences until there's more stability, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So it, it does calculate actually... the OM into the path more consistently in my experience so far, but I don't know. Ah. That's good. That actually was my follow up question: Is okay. do you ever hit that little that little block where it stops you? Because that, that was happening to me the past couple of days, and that, that gets frustrating. Yeah, it is very frustrating. Not yet, but I, I for, from what I'm gathering about everything, is they haven't fixed quantum travel. So what one thing that I did mm-hmm. have is you know when you spool up, you sit there, you press B, nothing happens, and it just stops. Yep, that happened. Ah, yeah. So they haven't fixed quantum travel, which is what everybody wants. Like when people are like, oh, I just want a working star map. In a lot of ways, you're saying, I just want working quantum travel. And and that's not necessarily the case. This is a refacing in a lot of ways of something that we had before, making it look different and adding some more functionality to it, right? With the search bars and other things. And maybe there's some code changes there, but... It's not as deep as I think people are are wanting it to be. So I, I would imagine, I would imagine in that specific uh, example, the, the reason that that's you know that bug is still happening is because it's just not a priority because quantum is changing, right? Yep. Uh, they haven't given us. Yeah, uh, we don't have the new system. We exactly. we we don't know when it's coming, uh, but it is supposed to be. I, I believe it's supposed to be part of the within a year. Um, aspect. It was shown at Citizen Con. Uh, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, like like it, it, that bug honestly annoys me less than the actual routing bug. I will say, yes, because yeah. that bug you just look away. <laughs> there's a, there's an easy workaround yeah, yeah. for it. Right? Exactly. Yeah, it's just an example of like most likely the the everything isn't fixed. Essentially, yeah, yeah. is is my assumption there. Gotcha. Yeah. Yep. 
Um, I had another question about like kind of a map thing. If I'm on Orison and I like look at Microtech on the map, can I zoom into one of the local maps, or do I have to be there? I uh, I believe they say in the ISC that's coming. Okay, I yeah, don't yeah. know. Okay, uh, one of the guys I play Evo with said no. Yeah, but I that do was, believe they said in the ISC it, that it's coming. So I I um, love this yeah. whole thing though because it's. Like as somebody in Evo, somebody who's not, uh, they sometimes you think of something to to look for and test that I did that I just would never have thought about trying, and it's a very that's yeah, yeah. a very obvious one to think to try, but it's just something that never crossed my mind to to look yeah. at. But yeah, in a in a I similar think. vein, I do want to mention. Yeah. Um, apparently, I've I've been told by some Evocati testers that uh, the physicalization of all the other like major bodies is there. At, everywhere now so you can actually zoom in to microtech from hurston like it's, it's not map like actually physically zoom into microtech from hurston you can see the little dot whereas right now in yes. live it doesn't exist until you're like you know within it's crazy you know, good it's not just that really? you can zoom into them the the they work the lod's out you can see the moons yep. and the planets way further out as you're approaching them in quantum Sweet. it just yeah, it's cool. like way more immersive. Feels like you're traveling a lot mm -hmm. more. It makes quantum a little less lame. Uh, yeah, like, yep. it, it's actually a little really less sick. loading screeny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It feels like you're way more traveling and way less playing Elite Dangerous. I think when it comes yep. to that, uh, it's <laughs> it's really cool. Yeah, that's nice. All right, with with some of the loot stuff, because again, I haven't had the opportunity to try it myself. And I think Mike, you've uh, you've been a big uh, very vocal about this one if i hit my primary weapon button does it switch back to the gun i was carrying or does it switch to the other one what do you mean there's that big issue everything is like changed. you pull out your med gun you, you like you have your assault rifle and maybe you have a, an smg on your back you pull okay. out your med gun you hit primary weapon and it pulls out the smg it doesn't go back to your assault rifle right now and it's very annoying did they fix that there are there are a lot of new issues that have come up with <laughs> with this whole thing because now primary is on one and but it oh. it, it goes through everything and like it, it's it's different i don't i can't recall i would have to like look back at at like recordings or something like that um mm -hmm. but like it you press different buttons now for different things so one thing that is not there is when you heal, it doesn't switch, I don't think, if you have two weapons. Right. Okay. Have you ever had that one? Yeah. But yeah. There, there's yeah. so many new bindings and there's so many new issues with those bindings that I can't specifically tell you yes or no on that one. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. I'm curious about some of these little little uh bugs you run into at the moment to moment <laughs> you're trying yeah, to switch yeah. back to that one gun you actually have ammo for <laughs> yeah yeah do you, do you have anything that you <laughs> want to talk just just because i don't want this to be a tell me about evo oh sure thing yeah that was actually some of my the... main questions that perfect happened. perfect because Kronzi uh, obviously can't no, well, I... participate as much so it's not for it's now soon. yes very soon hopefully <laughs> soon. um so I, hey, i'm yeah, asking because I, wanna... I can't participate so i understand maybe, maybe yeah, i understand yeah, and and I also uh, didn't I did post any videos on it this week, and I, it was very this week was very trying as far as testing went. It was very a lot of instability, mm -hmm. lots of weird problems, and nothing new added. So yeah. I will say that I have generally been been burned out on Evo testing because of the time of day that the patches go live are, are usually when I go to sleep, and um, mm -hmm. I I've burned myself out officially this week. And with nothing new coming, it's hard for me to be excited to pop back in and try all these little oh, edge yeah. case things. Yeah. All right. Well, I did want to throw a little tip out there. Maybe it's too late with the overdrive event, but maybe a lot of people haven't done this yet. Um, just because after you, it, a lot of people notice after you've accepted and done the overdrive event missions and you complete them, whether it's the three of three, four, four, whatever mm -hmm. it is, they go away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you can join your friends. Yeah. Yep. So if you want, there's the little trick of doubling up. A lot of these locations don't have friendly NPC stuff to shoot at you and tell you to go away. So if yeah, you're with yeah. a group of friends, just have one person accept it and everybody just follow along and just participate. If you don't care about the money, 
participate, have some fun, and then your second person does it, he accepts his one of three, and you, mm -hmm. so you can kind of double and triple up on the amount of missions you get to do. Yeah, if you my, want to do it that way. Yeah. yeah, if you're enjoying the missions or whatever, you can absolutely do. You could you don't even need friends. You could just pop in Gen Chat and say, "Hey, anybody else? Anybody need help?" doing overdrive missions and i'm sure somebody's out there looking for a little bit of help my org has done the same thing like i'm getting pings every once in a while hey we're doing some overdrive tonight who needs help on this phase you know and yeah uh and i will i, I will good. say it's gotten much better as the weeks have gone by uh like i didn't do any of phase three on time so i i did phase you three enjoyed it. yesterday and so I got to enjoy it because yeah. there, there wasn't 80 people doing this one shared <laughs> mission. Exactly. Uh, and so we actually got to have like a little fun with it and stuff. Uh, uh, oh. So like, even if you have done literally none of it, it's still really good to do right now. Yep. It yeah, 100%. And it is very terrifying to walk into SBK and see like 20 people you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I can That's only imagine terrifying. my experience. I was kind of lucky. It was just my group and I think one random apparently. So we were no. not <laughs> like we we didn't have to deal with anything crazy. And I think it's because we got through it quite quickly the moment the event went live. Um, so not oh, everybody nice. had gotten through that yet. So you didn't have like a wave of people there. Uh, but yeah, dude, as SBK is still one of my favorite things in Star Citizen. Yep. Always has been. Yeah. It's just a, a yep. great location. Every time it comes up in Gun Rush or the coin game or whatever, I mm -hmm. I can't. I can't end on S like I will not alt F four and and like move on with my day if S if SPK came up. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's just my favorite location yeah, in the game. Good. So yeah. Um and yeah, I'm I'm upset. Like everybody else, we didn't get uh, any answers to our questions, but one I wanted to bring yep. up with you guys that I was thinking about because uh Mike, I saw before you guys started here, you were doing some whole C stuff. Yeah, And I was doing some Hull C stuff recently and thinking about my personal hangar and how they said the the big hangers are getting a little bit bigger to make some extra room, this and that, and that it's going to be an instant situation. Uh, but I don't have a lot of answers on it, and I'm a little curious. Nobody uh, does. Just with me floating around with my Hull C, if you expand it, I'm almost certain I could jam it into a hangar right now. And if they made that hanger not only wider, but even if they made it taller, I think I'm going to be able to jam it in there. So what's stopping me from going down into to a ground location, keeping my whole C floating, closing my hangar door, having somebody come to my hangar, maybe you know, safely get me out, and we just start manually loading all that stuff right into my inventory. I think I might be able to sell from my whole C to a ground location if they don't. Well yeah, because you're not selling you from your now, whole C. Theoretically. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah, you're not selling from your whole city. I mean, but right now they kind of slam the door on you if, it, if you know, you're well, not I mean, careful. But... You, you, can, you can just transfer it to another ship right now. It's exactly. essentially the same thing same, that same you're, you're describing. It's just instead of putting it at a different ship, you're putting it in, like, the freight elevator. Yeah, he's... Yeah, he's, I was just, like, considering like, the, example the, the of, like, I'm the solo whole C pilot, which everybody yeah, yeah. is. How do I, <laughs> how do I do that, right? And I think yep. that that is definitely a way that will work. <laughs> I think honestly, the the thing that'll stop you is you'll realize that it's not worth your time. Eventually. Exactly. You'll yeah. you'll do it. You'll do it, and it'll be it's funny. Four and, minutes. And you'll be fun, but yeah. It's four yeah. minutes to unload outside. How many yeah. minutes hmm. do you think it is to load inside? <laughs> it's gonna take you four minutes to get yeah. in the hangar and get out. Yeah, yeah. So, so it will not be worth the, your time. Um, jettison cargo button is working and then just one button you just drop it all into your hangar and just <laughs> yeah it's called the self-destruct button but yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it'd be cool Oof. i am, i have so many questions man i'm so curious about like what happens when the the door opens instance wise like so many people want to know can somebody just blast into the hangar what's you know what does it look like from the outside what's it look like from the inside if it's an instance can yeah. we see each other like there's so much so many questions to be had uh, on this, and and it's really unfortunate we didn't get the answers. Yeah. yeah. Um. And what do you guys think? I know it was kind of like three twenty, three twenty one, three twenty two when we were getting the uh, little after the vulture. We got like the max beam. We got the uh, the bigger uh, Cambio uh, uh, SRT tool, mm -hmm. and then they added little craftables after a couple of patches first it was the multi-tool then it was like the little ammo canisters for the salvage tool to the vulture 
I'm actually yep. just kind of hoping we get a couple little more surprises in there. I don't think there's anything stopping them at this point from still utilizing that on the vulture and there's, just saying, hey, now you can craft these things and these things with your stuff. I, I think there's one thing stopping them, which is that it's very likely a lot of the ideas around crafting are right now in concept as they're doing stuff with um, uh, base yeah. building. I agree with so I, it, I don't it think, makes it a waste yeah. of time, right? Essentially. Yeah, it, it's very likely that they would just have to completely change that stuff. So why um, do it? So, true. Yeah. Yeah. As well, much the only as reason I, agree, I was mentioning like, is because you like throw you things on the out. list. You could just throw things on the list. You could do ammo. You could do anything. Yeah. Like in yeah, reality. And the point, uh, uh, the real reason is because if they're trying to soft nerf salvage uh, by just lowering the prices right now, I think those are the only two ingredients. So at yeah. least if they lower the price, it would make those things more useful. Kind of like a little bit of a balance there, maybe. Oh, it'd be great. It's just mm -hmm. a matter of would you rather them spend any moment of energy thinking about that in the short term or thinking about the long term and delivering a good video game because what you're describing is a good video game in the short term uh which of of in which we don't have a video game right so it'll make something interesting for five yeah. minutes rather than making yeah. something interesting for five years and i really want them to do the crafting stuff that makes it interesting for five years you know yeah, yeah and uh bit. and i hope that's what they're doing now Mm -hmm. so we'll see yeah that'd be nice in the background yeah. hopefully planning all the engineering ingredients relays and well we got yeah. horns now maybe i can use a horn and make some med juice to stab somebody with you know what i gotta do i gotta <laughs> find the birds again and look for the the description the of whatever. of what the pearl is and see if that's yeah. been updated because that had no description and the horn had yeah. a very crafting description a very medical yeah. crafting description so we'll see yeah crafty Crafty yes. sounding. Yep, um, that's what I want because I think that we can talk about economy all day, but economy mm -hmm. is one side of the coin, and I think crafting and making my money and my time and my things around me worth more than just my dollar per hour. Yep. So yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. Yep, hundred percent. I think that's probably a good place to leave it, Lightsmith, because now we're starting to get a little bit of a yeah. cue, and we'll let you go, and we'll bring in our our next caller. But I really enjoyed the call, and I can't. Yeah. Yeah, some of these things I cannot wait for. Yep. Yeah. Same here. Thanks yeah. for having me, guys. Anytime. Anytime. Have a good one. All right. And just Later. a confirmation: um, the wanted tiger in Twitch chat has caught some birds, and no, no mis, no description. description? No, okay. not not currently. All right. Uh, we got our next cool. caller in the line. We got Strexus. What's up? How you doing, Strexus? Hi. Hello there. Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Can you hear you good? You're a little Perfect. low. I'm gonna bring you up though. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, I just want to touch on. Um, I think this was from. Uh, was it in um, Inside Star Citizen um, when they were uh, when one of the de uh, developers were talking about um, um, the. Oh, I, my mind would, it just went blank there. Uh, hmm. The looting screen. Thank you. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, the looting Boston, screen. Yeah. And uh, what scared me a little bit, it might be me, it might be just me overthinking, but they said uh, the looting screen that we see in uh, the current testing environment, which is being implemented for 3.23, is taken from, is ported from Squadron 42, right? The like the, the red of. is the enemy. The, the quick kind loot of. stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the quick loot stuff. So, um, <laughs> they said that was designed for scoring for two, but they are also working on uh, another looting screen or quick loot screen, and more uh, designed for the persistent universe, the online version of uh, this franchise. Uh, so, does that mean, for example, sorry? I, I have the answer for you. You're you're looking into it way too deeply. They're just talking about visually, so it's very visually, red, okay, and and stuff. Um, so the original Squadron 42 one that they showed was just the quick loot screen where you don't see the backpack or anything like that. Then there's another button Correct. that you press. They made that specifically for the PU because in Squadron, you're in the military. You're not looting some random dude's <laughs> armor because you already have the best stuff possible, right? Exactly. So there was never a need for a backpack or, or a deeper inventory. They created that in Evo for the PU. 
what they're talking about yeah, exactly is sense. very similar to the like manufacturer UIs for helmets or for ships and things like that. Mm -hmm more in lore stuff so essentially what they yeah. what they're saying is it's going to be a blue hologram that you can't read yeah, exactly. <laughs> right <laughs> right so right. Th that's all it is it's a squadron 42 yeah. visual versus a pu visual i think is is all that they were saying that's how i read okay. into it if anybody yeah, okay, here because... feels any different speak up but well, i did yeah, not yeah, read it that with way the with the addition of like ha having access to the current loot system, because like you said, it, it's the more MMO focused system. Yeah. You because, have, okay, you, you because, have the, ability, uh, the, way... you have the functionality that you need. Yeah. You have yeah. all the functionality yeah, you need yeah. and more. Yeah. yeah, of course. But um, uh, the way I was thinking about it, the way I saw this was like when they said, this is a score 42 version, but you will get a star citizen version. So I was thinking, well, does that mean we're using a Squadron 42 star map as well? Yeah, all of gonna... all of this is Squadron. like all, all of these features, uh, especially very aesthetically at the moment, yep. are Squadron. Yeah. Um, the, I imagine the star map is very similar because the Moby Glass is for, yeah, for sure. Of course. I well, imagine the Moby the star Glass map is, is similar, very similar, but the Moby Glass is yeah. entirely different than what they yeah, showed yeah. at Citizen Con. So the Moby Glass yeah. has different yeah. apps, different colors. Yeah. So it is. They did a PU update for that, so you. Mm -hmm. But mm. yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. And uh, also, uh, I wanted to uh, to inform. Well, not really inform, but uh, give some tips in regards of the Intel raid, the first uh, phase of the Xeno Threat mm -hmm. Overdrive missions, because you, Mike, you, you said at the beginning when I joined the, uh, your pod your podcast here, um, uh, you haven't seen so much of that uh, Xeno Threat helmet with the spray paint. Uh, Correct. Yeah. One. Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, it's actually not that rare when you do <laughs> when you do the missions because the thing is people are so they are too quick to just shoot down the air in the elevators and then and the elevator closes. closes. Yeah. 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 You. Uh, what I usually do, I just uh, in case of somebody in chat uh, didn't know, um, if you want the helmet, depends on how many participants are in the group, uh, but uh, if you just Take a quick look at the AI, the character model. If you see uh, the one with the special helmet, just one tap or two shots, and he will start walking out of the elevator, and you can kill him outside. Because if you kill him inside, it, the doors yeah, will close. You can also go inside the elevator with them yeah, and, yeah. and kill them there. The doors will close on you, but they will open and let you out. They will open again. Yeah. I also imagine that they're more likely to spawn in the uh, the fourth and the fifth Intel raid in the uh, later boss waves. Yes, uh, yeah. Because, yeah. The they're, the first one or two, guys. yeah, I never saw them at all, and you could see it went yeah. from light armor to medium armor, but I just never saw the heavy armor that much in the last two for whatever reason. So, yeah, sometimes it, it, they just don't spawn. Sometimes uh, yeah. they can even multiply for one run. Mm. I believe. I think I saw three of them oh, in wow. one session. Nice. Wow. That's cool. But oh, yeah. yeah, how are you enjoying uh, the Overdrive? You like it? Uh, I did enjoy the uh, the SPK. Uh, for, uh, well, from my experience, uh, the AI seemed to be, of course, they're still laggy. <laughs> they're not yeah, perfect. Yeah. But, it, but at the same time, they didn't really do the, the typical teleporting, and they managed to kill you with one FPS reaction. <laughs> like the server yep. just like the server just classically catches up to you. Oh, like, yep. You were actually standing in the open there. You you die there. I'm sorry, you die there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, but for but in the, uh, for the SPK missions on live, uh, they actually start. They were actually walking actively around looking for you. Mm -hmm. mm. They were more functional. Yeah. I felt like. Yeah. But again, yeah. not perfect. But we're getting there. Yeah, there was a bunch of AI changes. I want to say like two major patches ago. I think it was like three, three twenty. Huge Evo changes um, as well, by the way. Yeah, on Friday. Uh, for this. Sweet. Um, but yeah, in in terms of the the FPS AI, uh, although there's been a lot of situations in the last uh, probably like what six months since three twenty came out, maybe seven months, that um, they have proven that the AI can work when the servers want to work. And yeah. since then, they've been improving them. Like, like they've been performing better under worse circumstances over the course of the last seven months. Uh, right now in live with especially SPK, I think everyone's starting to experience that a bit more. 
Um, it's it's almost like yeah. SPK is a bit newer, so they come out of the elevators more consistently, where the bunkers are still so guess, stuffed yeah. that that yeah. you have more issues there. Possibly, I don't know. Um, but like, yeah, it's a hundred guys. I, I guess this is just a good opportunity for something that I missed on three twenty three. Like a Friday, they added, I think it was Friday, they added an update yep. to the AI and Arena Commander and like the way that they yep. fly and stuff. Bro, it's they're mm. cracked. It's like, yeah, it's hard. Um, you know how yeah, you can I, I like solo the... pirate swarm. Like some people can, yep. like yep. really good pilots that like know where to fly and like, like uh, get under certain ships, like and make them bug out. But mm -hmm. I was completely overwhelmed. I had to grab an F eight C just to have a chance. I had to pay to win just to have a chance at winning, and I still lost. <laughs> so they're pretty. They're pretty strong. Yeah. Yeah, the thing is, uh, I had I had a lot a uh, lot of fun with the uh, with this current uh, phase that we're in uh, right now, especially yeah. the Comrie uh, the Comrie's. I I loved it. It's it was new to me, but I'm I, something in my mind just told me this has probably done before. But to me, it was the first time that you could see all the laser beams. So you have to like mm -hmm. be careful with your move uh, your movement inside of the Comrie. Have they done that before? Yeah, they're at uh, a, a yeah. derelicts. Like uh, search oh, okay. and rescue missions, things like that. They're they're at, but the oh, yeah. so if, if the reason why you could tell uh, is because you know how the laser doesn't go all the way across; it has a length. Yeah, yeah. it's because they're <laughs> they're only in doorways on ships and stuff like that. So yeah, like yeah. they never yeah. needed to be longer, <laughs> and now they did. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but it for me that was like a super welcome surprise. Oh yeah, also on the Clusher Escape, they're there as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that I got one recently. Laser beam, yeah. 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 So. Uh, it's more than one if you get a good server. The, the, the whole uh, <laughs> when, when you go through the end of Clasher, where you get the code for the um, uh, what is it, the the rover? There's mm -hmm. supposed to be three on the ground. Uh, you, you've got to like crawl under one, jump over one, and like go hop around a box. A, yeah, go around a box and hop over one. Uh, except most servers, you can just uh, sprint through all three, and you'll be a okay. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, when was, uh, because um, uh, if we're going back to the topic of the streamer, a lot of updates, mm -hmm. but where is 3.23? I was starting to think the same like the uh, the previous week, like you know, weren't we supposed to, unless they have managed to change their statement now on regarding of, of the release? Didn't they say at the end of April? And, and somebody like... They were and planning. Somebody theorizes, uh, target. Yeah, they were planning, yeah. yeah. Targeting yeah. that. Yeah. They are going to as miss that target probably. Um, yeah, as I like to call it on my end, a wish list. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're going to miss their target or they're going to remove things from the cards. Uh, there are many things yeah. that are still gray on the cards. There are only two things that are blue. Uh, so, yeah. So it only happened like two weeks ago. We got our first committed. So, yeah. yeah, exactly. And oh. and we're not getting any more. Uh, and it's it's just letting you know kind of the state of things currently. They're not mm -hmm. amazing and they're not incredibly horrible they are very much an evo patch but it's been two weeks of an evo patch which is um yeah. sort of a, a bit more of a surprise but not really when it comes to a huge patch like 323 yeah. a huge technical update like replication layer uh so this is all expected but yeah i am starting to get nervous about the timeline of things now i will say i did did mention that i was getting burned out a little bit right i think i'm not the only one i'm gonna make a hot take here and say that we're wave one this coming weekend it's either that the yeah. the evos like Kronzi that aren't quite in yet there's a lot of mm -hmm. them and if there are a lot of them they'll get another flood of people that aren't burned out or they're going to get a flood of people or, or we're all burned out and they're going to get a flood of people uh via way one wave one that's what i think it's going to be yeah. uh just because yeah. No matter what the state of it is they're going to need more data and more people and when they in the history is past uh, when Evo goes on this long, less concurrency over time, people get bored, nothing new to check out. Not everybody is there to work for free. Uh, some people just want to see cool new stuff. I'm one of those people for sure. Uh, like I will do stuff and, and do some, some Evo testing, but I also love to just check out the stuff. And honestly, yep. you're still Evo testing when you're doing that, right? You're giving them all the mm -hmm. data they need. And, um, that's just how I like to go about it. I'm not working for a company for, for free. <laughs> like it's just not one of those things I'm willing to do. Um, and um, yeah, so I, I just expect it to go wave one soon. If I were 
working for CIG. I would hire you to do the marketing. Oh, no. No, would terrible idea. Yeah, you wouldn't make any money. <laughs> <laughs> I would hire Mike to do the marketing. Here's here's a ship, just take it. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, so you want to like, bankrupt CIG? That's what <laughs> I had. Like for it's for free. my for my average view count, I had significantly less subs than your than most streamers <laughs> until more recently. I am a terrible salesman. But wouldn't <laughs> terrible. it be uh, um, um, in in terms of releasing a three twenty three? Wouldn't it be make a lot of much more sense to tie it with Invictus, or is that yeah. just because you idea? don't want it completely unstable? Yeah, and in in the past they have done like all of the Invictuses and IAEs. Um, I, I guess those are the new ones. Uh, usually are tied to a .dot x. Uh, last year I, I think it was Invictus. Uh, the patch came out two days before, so um, as in like the .dot x patch came out two days before. We are very much in that world right now again for this Invictus. Mm -hmm. So the hope is that uh, you know that the major issues that happen with three twenty three get done before then, because obviously this is the massive, massive mid year drive for uh, for new players and stuff. So yeah, um, that, that's where I'm at. Is like I I do think they're going to miss April, but I think we're going to be in another situation in where May. like three twenty three comes out like a week and a half or two weeks before Invictus, and then we get a really quick. Uh, like dot .x patch that's just yeah bug fix patch that's just here's the convention center and and here's a retaliator yeah <laughs> yes there you go <laughs> yeah well there's uh, that's it for me I don't have anything else to put on the table so yeah thank you for okay. having me thank you for coming on man appreciate yeah. it yeah cheers appreciate Talk it. You enjoy uh, I enjoy the uh, I enjoy the show and all the content that you do for this uh, video game and I've been f funding this game since twenty twenty eight. Uh, 2012, 2013. I love it. Says he's not playing this okay. game. I've been funding this game. <laughs> he just. <Yeah. laughs> I'm important, you love know. It. I'm love important. It. Yes, yes. Get your premium ticket in for Citizen Con, yeah. right? <laughs> and wear your monocle while you're there. I'll hire you. Remember that. I'll hire you for my True, true. <laughs> Perfect. All right, Strexus. Bye. You have a good time. Have a Later. Good time. Bye. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> All right, uh, I, I we have somebody in the green room, Pepper. I'm just gonna take these two callers, and then uh, that'll that'll probably be where where it ends. But we got Hellhawk on the line now. Hellhawk, how you doing? Hey, what's going on, guys? How you doing? Not much. Uh, just in the middle of a podcast. Yeah, I'm just doing a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, wanted to touch on the missions piece actually. Okay. I thought there was way, way, way too much quantum traveling for a, for no reason. Um, phase, I, I want to say phase two. Phase two was brutal. It? Yeah, yeah. Phase yeah. two was brutal for that. The, the damn encryption key. It's yeah. like, <laughs> go to the station you will never travel to again, 30 mil away in your you know, your Mustang Alpha or whatever these people have to do it in. Yeah. Um, I feel like they could have done something cool where each stage was all of the missions that we've done so far in Art Corp or Microtech. And then it slowly brings you to Crusader and you now can't. you're chasing down relays. You can't. I wish I wish you I wish you could, but you would you would run out of locations. One of the biggest gripes about this is like running out of locations and, and people yeah, not yeah. being able to do the missions at the same time or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. I I agree, wholeheartedly agree. But I think that that's like a hurdle that they have to get over. Think about what's mm -hmm. going to happen when there's 800 players in a server. How are the, how are the current missions that we have going to work? People are they're going to open their movie yeah. glass and nothing is going to be available to do, and they're just going to go well. Yeah, you guess I'm not going to. You'd out. have to have different. You'd have to have different mission types that you could tap into. Maybe some are in a bunker. Some are in one of those uh, obscure locations that aren't marked on the map. You know. Yeah. Obviously, right now they don't have the tools, and they wanted to get something out. I'm just, yeah. I think in the future it would be a good, good way to to mix things up and make it yes. so that half the game isn't traveling. Yes, you're not um, wrong at all. Don't think I'm, <laughs> don't think I'm disagreeing with you. It's just I no, don't no, think no. it's possible. Yeah, and I, I also, I don't think anyone who does actually play the game disagrees either. Although I did yeah. see someone in the YouTube <laughs> comments say that uh, apparently uh, you can't complain about too much travel. So that's an interesting take. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I like to Watch play me. the game. I don't know about you guys. But... I like to be stuck in my chair. Just hearing the same fucking sound over and over again. 
Maybe I'll uh, have a drink. Yeah. I will say one of the ways that they could fix uh, that issue with phase two is just uh, space them out a bit more. Like, like if each of those phase two things happened in between phase three, in between phase four, where it does become a little bit of a break that way, like a, a little bit of a way to, to break up the, the feelings and then, you know, you, you're not going full gun ho the entire time. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, we, we can hope that next yeah. time. Exactly. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I love the SPK thing, um, okay. and the only, the only, and I know they haven't really worked it out a hundred percent. The formation flying in one of the earlier versions, I think, it was actually Phase Two, was so damn good. I kind of wish they would have brought a little bit of that into SPK and actually had reinforcements flying in to, you know, to cut you off or like to drop off troops on a pad. And I think yeah, that's the sick. only. Oh, yeah, like. From an experience side, because, you know, you kind of lock yourself into, well, this is only FPS and, you know, this is only uh, space. And I think that would have been a, a way to combine them both so you can get more people involved. But yeah, just a thought. Do, um, do we know? So we got the, I think it was in like 317. We got reinforcements, right? We got atmospheric reinforcements. Yeah. Um, do we know why they can't do that for places like SPK? Because it feels like it would be a very similar idea because they always land at the exact same place, right? So I wonder, is there a way that they could just do that for locations like that where it's just they're going to land at that landing pad all the time? Maybe stations <laughs> act differently than uh, planets when it comes to the tech that they mm. made. Maybe they only made tech it, for planets. Probably, so yeah. yeah. It could be the pathing. Like, they're... You know, yeah, yeah. They just fly straight into the ring or something when they're going in for the the pad. Mm. <laughs> um, but either way, that would be something that would be a, a cool little add-on. Um, I th I think the main thing I wanted to to bug you guys about was cargo decks and the hangers and what your thoughts were on this because one of the questions I wanted to ask that got deleted off of the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the question uh, spectrum thread was, yeah. can we rent... <laughs> yeah, I know it happens. Can we rent storage from refinery stations? Why would uh, they get deleted? Not necessarily hangers. I had two sections of the question. I specifically asked, can we asked rent hanger, or hanger space? And then the follow-up, and I was, it was more of a clarifying piece. This is why I'm asking this first piece, but it got deleted. But... I got annoyed because oh, I'm looking at some of these other questions and there were like fucking paragraphs in there. I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just not going to bother. Their moderation is so stupid sometimes. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's because your question was cringing bad. Yeah. Uh, I know. <laughs> extra cringe. Um, um, honestly, I actually think uh, because I think it ties into that, like what you're describing probably ties into features that aren't currently being developed. Like renting, renting, so you're talking about renting storage space. It was right? all like things having... cargo. We right. should be yeah, allowed to an... ask anything. They don't have to answer I... it. But there's no, yeah, that, well, that's the case. Yeah, I guess they do... yeah. there's no need to delete it. But exactly. Uh, it, yeah. Um, I would like that. I will say I would like there to be some aspect of uh, like purchasing, so, like, like I go to Pyro and the Rough and Ready's guys have their stations set up and. You know, I've got to pay for storage from them, and then you know, reputation can like alter that price or whatever it might be. I think that'd be a really cool system, um, but I also don't think it's something that's on their radar at the moment. Yeah, I just I thought it was weird because technically, if they're if they're already bringing in the uh, the oh Jesus Christ the, the freight elevators, mm -hmm. all it is is how you're accessing your storage at a station. So the storage yeah. is already yeah. there. All they need to do is say you're limited to this because this isn't your home home base. And you know, I don't know. Like you said, they probably haven't started that, but based on the features we already have in the game or that they're about to bring in the game, I feel like that wouldn't be too much of a stretch. Um, yeah, no, I think that's, that's super feasible. That's fair. Yeah. 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 And, of course, the thing I've been asking for for years, let us refine from bags and not ships. I tested um, it. They might. No, oh, I tested it. Really. Well, oh. I didn't. The guys in my group did. And... Yeah, yeah. It did not yeah, work. I got really excited when I saw the bags for sale. And yeah, yeah. Not, about not a thing yet. But how do you get the bags out? And you, you, they're not like regular <laughs> containers right now. You can't even. Re so you buy them, 
and then if you yeah. don't use the mission or the the vehicle manager to add them to your ship you cannot do anything with them you cannot go oh whoop, crap add, add to inventory and have them drop that's current that's current it might change over the yeah over the i was gonna say because that ptu well because you would get them from your freight elevator but the freight elevator is not in yet so. exactly yeah so like the current experience of how you deal with cargo containers they did not add that functionality because that functionality shouldn't exist yeah because you can't magically make a box appear out of nowhere they don't want to do that so mm. at the moment you can't do anything with the purchased um bags but you but with bags with ore in them you cannot sell them from a cargo ship they must be sold from a mining ship sad yeah. very sad baby steps Yes. Very small. There's, very there's a possibility that could change when freight elevators come out. There I'll, is I'll a possibility. For like a week. Yeah. There's a possibility with freight <laughs> elevators it can change. Yeah. Possible. But I doubt well, it. Well, the other thing is distro centers. Uh, now that we're going to have yeah. like, you know, Gray Cat Distro Center and yep. Bearing Distro Center, I want to be able to take my stuff to a distro center, unload it into storage or whatever, and then start a manufacturing run. And then give me give me that maybe it's not crafting on a ship, but at least it's I'm participating. I'm making something small into that next item, and it may even give you a reason to do mining on the ground. Let's say you need gems for a certain build, um, yeah. like you're making optics. So you, you're you're you, a simple add-on like that would finally give them give players incentive to do things they wouldn't normally do because it's not necessarily the best cash rate this second. Yeah. Um, but I really hope that comes in eventually, um, you know, next year or so, because the economy's gameplay is kind of dull right now. And I'm just a little bit. Kind of getting burnt out on it. <laughs> just a little bit. Um, just dead. Yeah. Uh, Another big disappointment the, the, on that front, went and looked at all the buy and sell prices for everything, <laughs> and they look the same. Okay. I could imagine that would be one of the last things to change, though, before the patch comes out. Yeah, you, I'm I'm yeah. leaving hope as well. But for now, that was uh, one of the things I was like, as soon as it got stable enough to check, we started checking, and yep. they all looked pretty much the same. So, yeah. Well, so, we'll see that. I think whatever economy <sighs> last... change we're going to get might be like a big, big dump kind of thing instead um, of a... Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Probably. I hope not. I hope it's a slow, gradual build up but so far not 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 happening uh the last time i want to touch on was beacons um yes i don't think they should have the the coordinates actually listed out in the beacon uh um, and because there's no way to keep exploration gameplay in the game if they give you the coordinate map so if, if your objective is to set up data running and exploration inside the game itself and make it something you have to trade, like a server chip or something like that, as soon as you give XYZ coordinates, well, now I can go in a forum and just post the coordinates and now you have it. And now data, data running and exploration are basically screwed. Why? Why? So obviously, yeah, data. Well, first off. I am always of the exploration is already in game. Exploration is an overarching uh, description of a bunch of different gameplay styles. Specifically right. data running though, why does that have to be trading coordinates? There can be so many different other things that there can be. And it's They're... not a feature that's in game yet. You know what I mean? So it's, it's yeah. I understand what you're saying, but it's a gripe about something that doesn't exist. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's, um, It's like it's complaining about, you know, I, I don't like that mining doesn't contribute enough to crafting. Of course it doesn't. Crafting doesn't exist. Yeah. Okay, I mean, that that's fair. It's more of a, in the future, I hope that if they're going to make it so that exploration gameplay and data, like, coordinates are not linked, they take that into account and make data running its... It's got to be useful in some form or fashion. And I just see data it. running does for sure. I just don't think it necessarily will end up being coordinates. So I, I don't see it as a as a present this, issue. This is just because a... that'll be it'll be there when they go to do it. When they go to make data running, if the coordinates are there, then it just it, it'll be a non issue. Yeah, and and the thing is, is whatever they do when they go to make data running, it is it'll be different than how they described it to you when you got excited for it. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. <good> yeah. <laughs> But it's it's what's it'll be happen. cargo that's running. Gonna that's that's all it'll be. Yeah, it'll be cargo <laughs> running, but with a with a fucking 
hard drive a computer some dumb shit. yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. all right well that's all i had today guys uh appreciate the time and uh, yeah cheers for the call thanks for the Here's call three, two, three. rest in peace data running <laughs> yeah. sorry man your herald's gonna suck <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're actually 100% right. <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> later, hell on. She's right. Uh, later. All right, and we'll take our final caller for the day, Warlock. Sounds good. SRB. Warlock, can you hear Warlock, us? Warlock, how you doing? Hello, guys. Hello. Howdy. What would you like to talk about today? So, there are a few things. First of all, I'm first-time caller. Welcome. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Oh, uh, I'm listening to your podcast for quite some time now, and it's fun. Well, I didn't know for you until I saw you on uh, on uh, Grumpy Eyes uh, streams. Oh, nice! I'm, he's my countryman. <laughs> oh, cool, right. cool. From Ser- Serbia? Yes, yes. Nice. Okay. I was like, I want to make sure I get this right, but yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's awesome. What do you think about the addition of Kronzi to the podcast? I'm I'm very happy about it, it. Do you like it? Yep, it's it's cool. It's cool. Awesome. It's it's always it's always Nobody good to have more people. You. No. <laughs> Ego validation. Let's go. <laughs> okay, there are a few things that I want to talk with you guys. Go for I mean, it. there are many things. I'm in this whole mess for like over 10 years, right? Yeah. So yeah. Uh there are, um, for example, the first thing that I want to talk is about UI and the new optics, helmets, maps, so everything regarding that. Uh, the UI is, as you might always say, too much hollow. I don't like it at all. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's not it's... just me saying that. <laughs> it's, yeah, it, it is it's loud everybody. and clear from everyone. <laughs> yeah, but but I don't I don't understand why they don't listen to people. I mean, this how is hard the is one it thing to, that they to don't... change? I don't know. I'm, yeah. I'm with you. It's so weird. This is the one thing they refuse to budge on for some reason. The only like thing. an aesthetic, an aesthetics choice that, yeah. that they they refuse to change. Yeah, but At why does everything, so sorry? But why does everything need to be blue? I mean, okay. Uh, yeah, no, it's yeah. <laughs> Nobody everything knows. is blue, and yeah, <laughs> it's funny. I don't know. I don't understand that 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 way of their looking at the things, right? Yeah. Yep. The the map, I think it's cool. This new map, mm-hmm. it's pretty 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 cool. There are things missing, but yes. we will see how things go. Yep. Uh, Everything regarding is going to grow over time. We can't expect them to yeah. come in and be yeah. a finished game in a game that will refuses to finish. Never finish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, regarding optics, this new optics, yeah, finally they're moving towards something that's looking good. Mm -hmm. But still, I know it's a lot of hardware, uh, how would I say? Um, You know, when you aim down the side, uh, the whole viewport zooms. I don't like that. I I would like to see that only the part of the optics zoom, but I know it's hardware limitation. It it uses too much. Yeah, it it will kick our pieces it does already so yeah. yeah but i would like to see something in that way so it would perform better and would work yeah. like that uh zach zach already said he wants that yeah so it, exactly what you're describing is is something that the designers want to yeah happen. because that's so, the thing that they good. showed on uh, uh last uh last year's uh Sar- citizen con yeah. they showed like that optics working there the reason that they didn't is something broke with the DLSS TSR something like that. Mm. So the upscaling it broke and they're gonna fix it eventually. But it just broke. it's cool. It yeah. didn't broke the FSR. <laughs> yeah. Well, at, uh, I mean, I don't know how well that stuff works anyway at the yeah, moment. Yeah, it's all it's all the same. It's all the same. It's just dependent on your graphics card, I think. Yeah. Uh, and uh, one thing about helmets, you remember how we had that interior view of helmets? I'm missing those so much. I mean, they would bring a lot to the game because right now, if you look in live, wherever you go, you will see people running with helmets, not taking them off. It's stupid. I mean, if we had, like, I don't know, some heavy armor that has small small parts of visible where you can see through, and when you put the helmet on, it will block everything except that small parts. I think people would take off their helmets when they're in hubs and all that stuff. We used to have this. I think and, that. Yeah. yeah. 
I think as aesthetically in a lot of uh, just any any game that has helmets, really, uh, which, which, which is most FPS games, uh, aesthetically, it's just not a thing that most people want. Um, it, it's one of those things that's like, it is a kind of cool, uh, uh, what's the word? Immersion, like, yeah. aspect that you can have with them. But when it really comes down to it, after playing it for like so much time, people don't. People want to have the vision. They don't want things blocking their their view when they're looking around the place. Yeah, but th um, there needs yeah. to be something that will prevent you always having it on. I agree. I mean, I, I fully agree. I but know. I think that Why? comes that comes with well, because I I think it's so they, they've talked before, and I like the idea of like if you go up to uh, what's his name Constantine Hurston in like a full on military garb. Uh, why the hell is he talking to you? Like, <laughs> the, like, like, there should be a little bit of a disconnect with that. But I think that's where that sort of stuff happens. Is it should happen with reputation, uh, or it should happen with um, uh, possibly like when you uh, go through atmospheric customs environmental aspects as well. Yeah, go through customs that Maybe. sort of stuff. I, I don't think the solution is to make helmets worse. I just, I just no, don't no, no. think they it's should so be bad that people are running around in armor. I, I just don't see it as this horrible thing. Well, it's it's, it's not. But uh, why sh why do we have clothes in the game? I mean, uh, so they, why so, would I? So you can buy it. Like who? You know. <laughs> it, in the end, it's it's everything that has been done up to this point has not been to make a video game in a lot of aspects. It's been to fund the video game that is yeah, that yeah, is the yeah. single player game. So a lot of the choices they've made do not have gameplay implications with them. They have made up silly ideas that people are, are locked onto of, well, uh, you're not going to be able to walk around a landing zone because the NPCs are going to get mad at you. Oh, what? The NPCs that stand on chairs that you know, don't do anything yet. Yeah. It's, it's yeah, hard to say what also... can happen and what cannot happen. So again, just like every other aspect of the game, as it develops, things change. I don't see them changing this. Like, yeah, we have a cool character uh, customizer and stuff like that. You know what that's for squadron, because you see yourself in the third person in squadron in the cutscenes, guaranteed. Right. Like yeah. Yeah. I do disagree. I think it is coming. I think it is coming. It's the, the, Bobby factor of I'm every it MMO. Have is such to. A I'm not saying I think you're right. Oh, it sure. probably will, but it doesn't, it doesn't have to. It's not a yeah. It doesn't like need the to be bottom a, of the it's, priority. It's not yeah. It's not. Okay, it's sure. not. The, okay. Uh, then regarding missions, currently mm -hmm. we have missions only through our mobile apps. I think I think there are a few missions that you can take on foot from some specific specific characters, but it's like nothing compared to the missions that we have on on mobile apps. Why don't we have more missions on foot? I mean, how hard is it to program that? What what do you mean? Well, because the mobile, the mobile glass yeah. is just a system in walk order for us to, to track a, quests, really. Yeah, uh, you Starfield, know, as any other MMO, you go to, to NPC to talk with him. There, there are NPCs that work just fine when you approach them. Uh, there are some bugs, of course, yeah. but really? we don't talk about bugs. I, I <laughs> yeah, there are. the NPCs bugs. that you walk up to that just work. Uh, there is one in Lorwell in Reclamation hard. Center, Always. I think, but whenever you come to him, he just talks with you, everything's fine. Then when, when you ask him, do you have some work for me? He looks at his mobile glass and he says, ah, sorry, not today. And yeah, that's it. I'll, I'll, I'll maybe twist what you're asking a little bit for what I would like CRG to do in a similar vein. Uh, which is, I do like the idea of something that happens in Starfield where when you're walking around, you'll you overhear something, yeah. and then now you have access to that mission, right? The, yep. the, that sort yep. of stuff pops that, up. That would also you be do cool. that, but then it just pops up in your Moby Glass. I don't think we need to have a situation where I'm running around talking to a person, then I get a quest because I've talked to that person. I think the, the Moby Glass is literally just a system for quest tracking, and it is totally okay that that's the main system there. But yeah, I would I would like there to be other avenues to acquire missions rather than going to the movie glass and and i'm gonna give you i'm gonna give you and grumpy a little bit of a of a, a jab here i love grumpy so not nothing against him but i'm not surprised that a, a grumpy i fan would come and say how hard is it to, to code that that sounds so simple Right. Well, it's it's not just a fan. I don't think it's like that. <laughs> no, I'm he never said a, he was a fan, Mike. I'm, he just I'm found making, out about you through Grumpy. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm making a, I'm making a joke on Grumpy, and and it's because yeah, yeah, okay. It's okay. But the, the idea Ouch. here is it's probably not that fucking simple, because they've been talking yeah, about it for a year and they've wanted to do it. 
Yeah, and yeah, and you're nice. you're doing a lot of things like asking why to two people who don't know the answers why. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. If you forget ask me about, about the 400 it. pages of rules of Magic the Gathering, I'm there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> But there's there like I don't know the answers as to why these things don't happen. I if if we knew the answers, we we wouldn't have to ask ask the questions, unfortunately. But they you know don't, how it they is? Don't talk it's to always us, serious. So we don't know. Yeah, yeah. It's always serious. <laughs> until okay. the servers work. Yeah, until the <laughs> servers work. Uh, yeah. Now mm, regarding hangers, I had mm -hmm. an idea about that personal hanger that we are apparently getting right. Uh, why don't we have an option, for example, if we are asking for landing on the planet that we chose as our own, mm -hmm. uh, you ask for landing, the hangar door opens, right? You go into the hangar, it's standard hangar as it is now, and then you have an option to go into your hangar or to keep ship as it is in the standard hangar. And if you say, I want to go into my hangar, we again have the doors that open, underneath the ship and just elevator goes into our hangars. That way we could avoid uh, those people that want to enter a hangar or something like that uninvited. I don't know. We don't even know if that's going to be an issue to enter the hangar. Yeah. I, I mean, exactly. I've heard through a grapevine like years and years ago that, you know, it's, it, they're, it's not going to be an issue, but at the same time, how, Will it not be an issue, right? Will they automatically I mean, be trespassing, no. like people are saying in chat, yeah. and instantly be removed? We have no idea how they're going to deal with it. And unfortunately, you have to come on this show and ask a, a, another why question that could have been answered two days ago. But now we don't have it answered. So we're sitting here wondering the same thing as you. Well, same. Yeah. I I'll like also your say idea, you're... Though, it's more like Elite I... Dangerous. I was going to disagree. I, say, I, I was going to say I, I don't like that idea too much because I think it is uh, – it's – making more effort to solve a smaller problem. You know what I mean? Like there, there are easier things that they can do to solve the issue that you're trying to solve rather mm. than just make it like you think make, this is make the player do more work. No, well, you're making the player do more work. Yeah, yeah. you have to yeah. press yeah. an additional but, button, but it's easier uh, to it teleport same... an instance underground with like us yes. just in a building than it than it is to open a door that everyone can see. So it's a lot, it solves a possible major problem by hiding you from everyone else, then creating the instance. It's. I feel like you're still doing the exact same thing anyway. Maybe. Because that person would then be in there. Like, like, I, but I the think door's it's not open. Non -issue. Well, the door was open when you came into that hangar. Yes, and, and then, then the door right, cool, closes. Now moving. The door closes and then you go down and nobody can go down with you. I have a feeling, I have a feeling people will be camping <laughs> and waiting. <laughs> For sure, people will see if it's possible. The moment it yeah, comes yeah. in, I mean, what's the first thing I'm going to do in Evo is open a, a hangar door and tell my friends to try and come in it and see what happens. Come in, yeah. 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 So uh, certainly people will try to see what they can get away with, mm -hmm. right? But we don't know. Well, I hope we will get to know soon. I mean, yep. it's Same. already how much, two weeks in Evo, and there's nothing about hangers as far as I know. Yeah, that's what Mike was saying earlier. Like one yep. of the one of the big major features that he's excited for uh, just has not been in Evo yet. So yeah, yeah which, so it's, which it's is a bit of a bummer. Crazy. It's not yeah, crazy. Yeah. It's it's pretty. It's it's Evo. It's, it's Evo. <laughs> it's Evo. <laughs> uh, regarding gold standards and the ships, I mean, we are getting Tally now, right? Mm -hmm. Retaliator. I'm not that fond of that ship. I mean, I I have it in my. <laughs> Get him out of here. No, 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 it's, I don't know. I mean, there are many other ships that need maybe gold standard before the tally. At I mean, least. It's just your opinion, I'm, though. I am, I am yeah, disagreing with you a lot today. Opinion. The reason, the reason I'm disagreeing with you here is just because uh, they did the Aegis Gladius, they did the Aegis Saber. So the Aegis well, design language is, I mean, at the I forefront mean, of gold standarding. So it makes yeah, sense yeah, to yeah. the Retaliator next. Yeah, but also, I mean, on modularity. Probably in squad it doesn't matter. Retaliator's probably in squadron. Yeah, yeah it is. Galaxy's probably but not. What about Kerak? What about Caterpillar? Uh, I know probably I not pledged in squadron. Avenger back in. Yeah, yeah probably not I'm, in I'm, squadron. I, that, I mean, it's simple. Right, yeah. they're oh, they're gonna go through and do the gold standard things for the things that need gold standard for squadron first. Uh, None okay, of those ships I... are combat, like military ships. Yeah, 
it sucks, uh, but for example, I bought, that's how it is. I bought Avenger back in 2014. I pledged that ship, right? Mm -hmm. And I remember correctly that they said this ship will be modular. We have now like three variants of that ship, right? We have the yeah, cargo, it's not modular the small anymore. cargo. Yep. Yeah, it's not modular anymore. So what I did, what did I pledge? I did upgrade that ship, of course. I bought that <laughs> You don't have Avenger. it anymore. <laughs> so what are you complaining I don't about? Any... But it is the ship that I pledged for yeah. back in the time. <laughs> Like you're not you're not wrong. Other yeah, ships you're not need, wrong. need gold standard. It's just that's not going to be the way that it's going to work. And I am totally okay with the way that it's working. I'm not okay with the way it's working personally because I don't think enough ships are being prioritized with gold standard reworks. As well, it's because they they haven't done it for two years. This exactly. Is, like I said, this is the first one they've done in a very long time. Yeah. So. So hopefully we don't get the next one in two years is all. Is, yeah. That's kind of what I'm saying. <laughs> like the way, because yeah. the way you made it sound was like you're okay with one gold standard ship every two years. No, which no, no, is no, obviously no. not the case. Okay, cool. No, no. Yeah, I was like, wait a second, Kronzi. What the Well, fuck? as long as that's the retaliator, then it's fine. But... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the tally is good. Huh? <laughs> yeah. If the, the, the what ship should be prioritized next is always going to be an argument between people because yeah, some yeah. people yes. like yes. other ships over yeah. each other. It's yep. not just in this game, it's in every game. Basically, it's in life like that. Yeah. Everything is prioritized and people argue about it. The only um, thing that matters, I think somebody's saying this in Twitch chat, is server meshing. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Nothing else matters. Yeah. Once that happens, then they should be making the game as a priority. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. And one last thing I want to talk about is Reclaimer and Vulture and currently st the state that they are in. Mm -hmm. I mean, I did both of them a lot, played with them a lot. And the main reason is, of course, money in the game. Uh, but I think they are so broken. And even with mm -hmm. the change that you might talk about in the evil that they made, that's stupid. It still that, seems that broken. Won't... Right? No, it, it yeah. won't fix anything. No, it, it uh, just depends. It'll, it'll if they're... make it not as broken, but still broken. Yeah, uh, but, yeah, so but is... right yeah. now I can do like uh, 15 millions in hour and a half with reclaimers. So, yeah, so now it's it seven. won't be 15, it will be seven and a half million. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's, it's broken. It's broken. So it just comes down to what we don't know is if there's other changes associated with that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, I remember regarding... we, were talking, we were talking about when uh, the hull munching first came in and it was immediately broken we were talking about like well what are potential fixes and i think one thing that mike brought up and one thing that a lot of callers brought up grumpy is actually you made can't a really just... good video on it actually yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. you yeah. can't yeah. you can't just nerf the prices because then it sort of unbalances the vulture too much uh you need to do more stuff with like the amount of cargo that they can hold on to at one time uh or uh like, like you need to mess around with the actual loop a bit more yeah, or yeah, just generally reclaim... how quickly you break down a ship. Like, there's so many things they can do. And before yeah. we say anything else, I I know for a fact they're they're they came out with an ISC saying we're not happy with the current state that it's in, and we're going yeah, yeah. to do something with it. It just comes down to those guys are the same guys that are doing engineering, mm -hmm. same guys that are doing salvage, same guys that are doing mining, same guys that are doing something else. I think so. It's like. Is that a priority for them right now? Probably not, which sucks. Um, but well, it's a partial power. It's a partial priority uh, for the economy team. Yeah, but they're be. also working on ships and guns at the moment. I believe it was like the other the other major thing. So, and, well, they also said they yeah. went through the fucking commodities, but we haven't seen that yet. So hopefully we will. Yeah. Um, Quanta. But, yeah. <clears throat> like I just ex just expect things to change significantly. I think. When it yeah, comes the to price salvage, changes, but maybe not initially. Yeah, the price changes of the ships won't help either. I mean, people will grind up and buy ships they want. So, yeah, but you want that? I think that will help with some stuff. It's not necessarily going to yeah. help with the salvage gameplay loop, but no, I no. think the 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 price of ships even right now, if we had removed salvage, is not yeah, yeah. Uh, ideal. Like there, no. there's a lot of really weird prices in there for a lot of ships. Like the Hammerhead, I believe, is 14 million. It really feels like yeah, it something be like that. Yeah, more, yeah blanket uh, where, raising the like, prices is not a good idea, but making it make sense, yeah, no. which is something that they exactly. did. Like military ships are worth more or cost more. Yeah. Uh, was a was a good move, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and regarding reclaimer and its cargo, right? Uh, I mean, it has 420 SCU. 
but we all know that you can fit in it 2000 and it's not even like third of it full so there needs to be some changes in the 3d model at all i mean the, the reclaimer alone needs to be changed in order to compensate that it's I ages think, i don't know it's yeah, ages yeah. it's in squadron 42 is that so it won't be changed in in uh in <laughs> in the um oh it's in one of the missions it's just like a place okay. like a the the like a uh, location what, to go to or something no 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 uh fuck what was it called the vertical slice it's in the vertical yeah. slice so okay. like it's I part did, of a I mission see you that. see it yeah it, there's right. somebody reclaiming something you come up to it they're like this is our salvage and it's like this conversation we'll go, that right, they right, have right. and then they move on yeah. Yeah, it's just like part of a cinematic in a mission. So, like, it's, this is just me coping that it'll get a gold standard <laughs> soon, okay? Oh, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it's, there are so many things in, uh, on that ship that uh, make no sense anymore, especially with the claw and everything that's changed. And I don't know. Insert and also, every that ship buffers. Here with that statement, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, especially the buffer. I mean, if you. Uh, go to another reclaimer to to scrap it or whatever you want to do with it. Uh, you will have two chunks of 500 SUs, right? Mm -hmm. You cannot fit that in one reclaimer. You will lose like half of it. If you go to 890 uh, jump, it is one big chunk of 1,600 SU. I mean, what will what will crunch that ship? Nothing. You will get like. 240 out and that's it i don't know if they mean uh, if they are uh planning to make bigger ships for for salvage i don't i don't think there there is bigger ship right now in the plans yeah but reclaimer needs to be fixed and vulture also i mean i don't know i like the vulture yeah i think, vulture yeah, I think, I think that all the changes that they made ended up making the vulture like perfect but it yeah. made the reclaimer too powerful so like, too the, powerful. Just like yeah, yeah just yeah. like you said so the, there needs the to changes... be something change yeah just like you yeah, said but the, the changes, changes can't make the vulture garbage exactly no like, no like the vulture changes... is currently really really great ship i mean if you take it out you can fill it like 40 scu in half an hour and it's fine i mean yeah. that's that's a loop you want to play but then you look at the reclaimer for the same amount of time it's like too much it's broken. overpowered yeah it's broken yeah. I, I hope what they do is maybe a little bit of refining or the just they got to change something with the claw of some kind i think or yeah. something like yeah. that but yeah um i what do you one have thing anything? more I want to ask. Yeah, just do one yeah, more because we hit more. the two-hour mark. Yeah, which yeah, is our, yeah that's, our that's it. I just want to ask you, Salty, because you have access to Evo uh, with Vulture or with with Reclaimer, doesn't matter. There I are those chunks around stations that flying like those ship parts. They are currently broken in life. Did you maybe try that uh, to salvage those? Uh, are they working? Those markers were broke, I think, or something like that. Because th those are really, really good things to to fix, uh, all, to to salvage. All markers for all resources are broken. So <laughs> yeah, it's either. So shit. <laughs> I, I could, was. Okay. I, it's it was very hard to find mineables. I didn't even get to salvage yet. Yeah, but yeah. oh boy okay mineables okay. were i i trolled yella for three hours and there's little bubbles when you scan you know that you like fly to yeah yeah, yeah yeah there's just nothing there at each bubble you go to oh man maybe yeah, it's due to the test server i don't know it was a little <laughs> bit better in the it... asteroid belt but yeah it's it's most likely a replication layer thing test server i i I'm looking for an IC report. If not, I'm going to make one, but I've already told them about it. Like, hey, did, yeah. did you know okay. that this was an issue? And they were like, we'll look into it. So I don't know about salvage, okay, though. Boys. So I, I have to check the salvage one. Yeah. Okay. Thanks right, for like... having me. Hey, yeah, cheers. Come on, man. Fun. We will we will hear us again for sure. <laughs> yes, come back soon so, yeah. and ask us why things aren't working. I can't wait to okay. tell you that. Okay, I, have no idea. I will. I will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, have fun, guys. Bye, Bye, now. Bye. All right, so that was Warlock, and that is the end of the show. So, yes. again, it was a big week. It really was a big yeah. week. There was a lot yeah, of I was, things. I was surprised. Yeah, um, but just not those things don't equate to 
the video game getting better just just yet a lot of this stuff yeah um so it is a big week coming up for evo and again i really really think we're going to see wave one by then because they're just going to need the bodies in there um yeah. but who knows if they put the hangers in tuesday wednesday maybe everybody mm-hmm. comes back to evo and is like let's go testing time so we'll see but uh i am i'm excited to see what happens this week Yep. Excited to find out what ISC is about. Do we know what ISC is mm-hmm. next week? Do we know? I don't know anything. Uh, no, because normally, normally he leaks at the end of SEL. So yeah. So <laughs> didn't get anything. Yeah, we're looking forward to this week in Star Citizen, and we'll have to see. Yep. But I'm really excited for next week's ATC because I should hopefully be in one of the Evo Cardi builds this week. Yeah. So we can discuss. We're gonna... yeah, yeah, it's gonna be cool. I get to experience my first time in Evo Cardi. Uh, when you get in, let me know, and we have like a little group in my Discord, and we all test together. So if you want some people to hang Will out do. with while you're testing, let let me know. You you sound like you have some Evo friends as well, though. Obviously, so I uh, do, but they are a lot of them are shared. Cool, cool. Moldan's friends with everyone, I think. True. Yeah, he's everywhere. <laughs> um. So yeah, we've been going pretty hard on on a lot of things. I've I yep. again, I got burned out though. It's tough. It's yeah. tough because of the time of day that they decide to do their tests. But I think there's one, uh, a big play test that's coming up in like an hour or so. So I'm going to try and check okay. that out. But oh yeah, yeah, I think that's where it leaves us. I'm very excited for next week's ATC for lots of reasons. Hopefully we have that mm-hmm. SEL rescheduled. Hopefully we have an ISC on actual gameplay stuff. Monthly report. Monthly report. Monthly report is going to be coming out. Yep. Yeah, which should be very interesting as well. Going to be mm-hmm. looking at that economy section and that whole new vast <laughs> gameplay team, right? And what they're working yep. on. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, it's not all stuff that we see in Evo, and hopefully, it's uh, some future stuff as well. <laughs> and I yep. always look at the narrative side because what, yeah. what, what uh, our last caller was like, hey man, why can't I go up to a somebody and and get a mission? I, I'm always I'm feel the same as him as Warlock looking for that more I don't more know engaging the Moby, like mission yeah, the, sort of the yeah. Moby Glass like breaks the personal feelings out of the game yeah. uh, a lot so I, I'm in agreement with him I'd love to see more stuff like that but I don't have my phone today but I have this is this good Mike how am I supposed to call your remote I don't know Guys, don't be like Mike and remember to answer the call. Thanks for watching today, guys.